have a question before we start. Okay. If you take a hot dog and you put it between two regular uh, pieces of bread, does it then become a sandwich? No. No. When is a hot dog a sandwich? Welcome it's never back. a sandwich. <laughs> Welcome back to the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th? I don't sixth? know what episode uh, this is. I think we're on the 6th. Of the Real Duo podcast, a.k.a. the Keanu cast, a.k.a. the most mediocre podcast on the internet, a.k.a. the only mediocre podcast on the internet. I'm one of your hosts, Wade. And I'm one of your hosts, Devin. I'm probably too loud in this mic because I don't know where to hold it, so you're probably going to have to deal with that through the whole podcast. Deal with it, bitches. Deal with it. What have you been watching this week, Devin? Um, What did I watch this week? Oh, I watched Happy Death Day 2. <laughs> Why? Because it was on Redbox. Did you see the first one? I did. I thought the second one was better. Are they any good? <laughs> I've heard they're actually like not that bad. Um, the the first one is basically modern day Groundhog Day and with a girl. Oh, so, so I watch it then. I mean, you could. She's fi- I actually think she's a good act or actress. I Sorry. think she's a woman though. She does a pretty good job. Happy Death Day Two was actually more story. Than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be, I thought it was just gonna be just nonsense. But they actually made a cohesive story in it. The trailer like, looked okay. like nonsense. It it. <laughs> I don't remember watching the trailer, but I was like, going into this, I was like, this is just gonna be nonsense again. I'm like, oh, they actually made a okay story that makes sense. Really? So, should I should I watch these? I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> Do you think I would like these though? They're they're dumb fun. That's not what I asked. I mean, I I think you would like it, but if you go into it critiquing it like a masterpiece, then you're not going to like it. I'm probably going to do that. Yeah, then you're not going to like it. Shit. But if you go into it and kind of just turn your brain off, you're like, okay, this is kind of a fun movie. I could do that. Speaking of turning your brain off, I watched Electra finally. Oh, my God. How was that? How did it go? (laughs) Oh, my God. It was so bad. I knew it. I I knew it was bad. I I didn't believe the hyperbole about how bad it was, but now I do. I'm a believer. Would you ever watch it again? Oh, no. God, no. (laughs) Like, superhero movie ranking. Is it like the worst superhero movie you've ever seen? (sighs) It's up there. It's up there. You mean it's down there? It's it's up there. or Yeah, down there. It's down there (laughs) with like Catwoman and like Suicide Squad. Yeah. Oh, it's that bad. It's pretty bad. Is it worse than Suicide Squad? Uh, I mean, it's more boring than Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad is at least a little bit entertaining, if that counts. Electra was so boring. And it's Jennifer only like Gardner, 90 though. minutes, and it, but it's Jennifer so boring. Gardner. She's not a good actress. I mean, I mean, she's okay in other stuff. But... And they never, they didn't explain in that movie how she came back to life. There was like one sentence where it's like, oh, maybe the hand, boo. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> Did you watch anything else besides that? I watched a documentary on Hulu called uh, Batman and Bill. Of course you did. What was, was that about? It was really good. It was kind of, uh, it was about the creator of Batman, about how um, Batman was created by uh, both Bill Finger and Bob Kane, but Bob Kane for the last like 40 years is the only one that's really like got, gotten credit. And it was about this guy who, uh, he pretty much wrote a book trying to get Bill Finger's name kind of out there and trying to give Bill Finger the credit that he deserves. Uh, and it's it's a really actually it's actually pretty good. Like it's not even really about Batman. It's just about like giving Bill Finger credit and going on that journey. And it was really good. But it still has Batman in it. I mean, yeah, it's it's got Batman stuff in it. And there's a clip from Batman vs Superman in it, so that made me really happy. Oh God! Because um, that was the first movie that Bill Finger was credited on. Hmm. So they had to. Oh uh, yeah, that was. I remember reading something about that. Yeah. Yeah. And I forgot. I also watched uh, Fast and Furious like on Monday, so I was like, that <laughs> felt like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, you did. Is that any good? Is that still like? Stupid? No, it um, does not hold up whatsoever. It doesn't surprise me at all. Like I remember it being so much better, and I watched it again. I was like, this is just stupid. Now you got to watch the other seven before. No, sure. I've only seen. Two of them, I think, and I'm not watching any others. I've only seen the second one. I saw it like forever ago, so I don't remember it. I've heard the second one's garbage. I've, yeah, I've heard it's really bad. But Lil Bow Wow's in it. 
I seen the first one, and I saw the one where Paul Walker died. That's it. That's the only one. That's seen. seven. He didn't die in the movie though, did he? No. Oh. He just he drove away. He probably should have. They uh they CGI'd his face onto his brother's face. Yeah, I know. I've seen the clip. It looks horrifying. He, I mean, he doesn't look like uh, this is terrible. But... He doesn't look like a person. He looks like a CGI monster man. I mean, it doesn't look as bad as one of these trailers we're about to talk about. So. Oh snap! That your segues, man. Your segues are on point. I was about Thank to bring you. it up, but then you, you <laughs> took it from me. Do you want to start with that? We have four trailers to talk about. Do you sure. want to start with that one or end with that one? We can start with that one if you want. All right, let's talk about. As well, let's talk about cats. Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> Do you want to talk I'm about cats? <laughs> Idris Elba, why the fuck are you doing this movie? What is wrong with Idris Elba? I don't know. He was like, no, I don't want to be James Bond, blah blah blah, but I want to be a dancing cat man. What the hell's wrong with him? Like you only saw him, I think, once in the trailer. Well, there, was, there was one I... time he was like on like a ledge looking all cool. And then the second time he's like near the end and he's doing this like weird, like creepy dance. I'm like, why? <sighs> and, and some geez. of them are wearing like fur coats, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah. They're wearing their brethren. Well, that's just them. That's just their bodies. No, they're just they killed their brethren and they're wearing them. I mean, maybe they're cats. Cats are assholes. <laughs> Um, T Swift is in this movie. How do you feel about that? I mean, I, she was in the giver for like 20 seconds and she was fine in that, I guess. I've never seen her act, so I don't really care. I haven't um, seen her act either, besides in like music videos, which that doesn't count. Yeah, so I don't know if she's terrible or not. I will say that this movie, this movie will probably have like a banging soundtrack because it has some really like talented people in it, like Jennifer Hudson, who's got an amazing voice, and Jason Derulo. I hope he does that in the movie. I if love not, Jason Derulo. If honest. not, somebody missed out big time because that'd be hilarious if he did that in the film. Um, and it's got like Ian McKellen and like Judy Dench in it. Like it's got good yeah. talent. It's just everyone looks so scary. This movie looks terrible, like Uncanny Valley. And what it's kind of what kind of irks me a little bit is that two days before the trailer came out, uh, they put out like a behind the scenes of cats and whatever, as if anybody cares. Um, but they showed off like all of the, like all the sets and the sets are like these giant thing. And like, they look beautiful. They look so cool. But then the actors are all like CG fied. And I'm like, why did you do that? Cause now everything looks ugly. Why didn't you just put them in makeup? Planet of the apes. It just put them in cat makeup, make them, yeah. make them actually look like cats. The CG, it just looks so off. And there's just, there's something unnatural about it that just makes your eyes well, their, just like their faces. Why? are like moving in like a different yeah and then the bodies and i'm like why i feel so bad for ian mckellen man <laughs> I, I mean i don't he's he's lived a good life he, he, he'll be dead soon <laughs> i mean he's just uh, that's not the type of movie i would think he'd want to do but whatever what movie do you think ian mckellen would want to make i don't know like a serious movie i don't know oh damn, more serious than cats that doesn't exist cats not gonna be serious um i don't feel like this is gonna do well just because it looks terrible maybe if they come out with another trailer oh. and they fix it i don't think it'll oh. do well simply because it comes out the same day as star wars it come out the same day yeah that's a mistake so i i think that alone is not gonna do it i'm probably gonna see this because i love musicals i don't care how spooky it looks i probably um, won't see this i'll listen to the soundtrack but i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna see i'll listen to the soundtrack because i I'm sure the soundtrack is going to be awesome, but I'll see it. I, and maybe the CG, you know, it's a trailer. Maybe the CG wasn't, you know, finished or whatever, but don't put out a trailer unless your CG is finished. Cause then you get horrifying cat people. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. I, mm, it just, it irks me. I hated watching it. It made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I think it made everyone uncomfortable. It, it like, uh, that's uh, all anyone's been talking about. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. It's getting exposure. Yeah, I mean, all press it's is genius, genius press. marketing. It is really, and maybe, maybe they did like a Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Maybe they made everyone look horrifying on purpose to get people talking about it, and then looking like, no, no, they'll actually look like cats in the movie. I don't think Sonic the Hedgehog did that on purpose. I think they did. I find it hard to believe. Hey, yeah, we're just gonna take this movie that we've been working two years on and just go back and into the files and just make Sonic look the way he did we should have did that the first time but no now we're gonna do it i think that was intentional maybe all right let's move on i'm done talking about marketing cats. done talking about cats all right uh let's talk about the witcher trailer Ooh boy it looks 
super fun. I'm going to so be good. honest. It looks so good. I wasn't expecting that out of the trailer. I just watched it. Right I wasn't before. either. It looks so like high budget. I was like, how much money does Netflix have? All the monies. Um, got all the money. Henry Cavill looking like a mountain. He is, he is fucking huge. jacked. He's bigger than he is a Superman. I mean, he is. Guys. I saw that the scene where he was semi shirtless and he's just he's a mountain. Ripped. I'm like, Geralt's not that big, but all right, cool. How do you feel about his uh, his voice? How, the voice he's doing his voice. It. I'm glad he's not doing the the normal Geralt voice from the games where he kind of just talks like this because that would be annoying for like a 13 hour. <laughs> he just show. seems like he's doing his American voice almost. No, I, I, he's he's doing his British accent. He's is he? His, yeah, which is cool because he never does that in any movie he's in. He's always playing Americans, so it's cool that he can finally he is he, he seems like he's doing a mix between his British accent and like a monotone type thing. So. I was gonna say some of the parts I heard, I thought he was doing his American accent, so. I mean, maybe maybe he's just switching accents throughout the show. I don't know. That'd be annoying. That'd be, that would be really annoying. Have they um have they said how long the series is gonna be? Is it gonna be like? I don't think so. I hope it's only like eight to ten episodes. Actually, no. I I want this to be as long as possible because I want to invest. <laughs> I want to invest into the Witcher lore because it's actually kind of interesting, it could, and it looks like they're doing their own thing with it as well. So that's yeah, it's gonna be its own thing, which is good. It could be amazing just watching Henrikville just ripping things to shreds. Oh my be. god. I can't wait to see the monster designs. I want to know how these monsters look. They kind of teased that it looked like and they some of them looked pretty cool. I hope for, they look awesome. For a Netflix show like that creepy crawling th- I don't know what they're called. I don't play the games, but there's like a big cra- crab looking crawling thing yeah. coming out of there. That looked pretty good. The big spider for, thing at the yeah, end. Yeah, for the yeah. CG. Yeah. And then what was uh <laughs> that spider up? <laughs> I was gonna say, what was up with the his eyes? Is like that's oh, that's a thing in the games when like you take too much. uh, You have like potions and stuff, and when you take too much, he gets all like boom, like veiny and shit, and he becomes like a badass. I'm excited though. This looks really fun. It looks. Oh my god, I cannot wait for this fucking thing. I can't either. It it's It's gonna be great. It's probably gonna make me read the books, which sucks because there's like 15 books, and you don't read. I don't read. I don't know how. You'll learn just for this. I'll have to learn for Witcher. <laughs> is there is there anything else you want to talk about with the Witcher? Anything else you saw that you want to mention? Uh, not enough Henry Cavill's abs. Not enough in the trailer. Not enough. No, nah, they they're keeping it for the show. They don't want to spoil. They it. better. Don't want to spoil it. That man is fucking jacked. I want to know. Okay. I want to know what his workout routine is because it's, it's just it's nonstop just working out. When he's on set, he just does push ups twenty four seven. He's when throwing a medicine ball in the air in his sleep, like he's probably insane. like he's he's probably bigger than the Rock. No, no, maybe. I want to see. I want to see probably, that arm wrestle. That's what I want to see. That'd be entertaining. I pay for. I pay a ticket for that. <laughs> I, I'd pay to watch that on YouTube. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah, boy! All right, let's let's go on to the the Watchmen trailer. Let's before we get it because that's DC news. Technically, I have some other. We're doing news. trailers right now. We're just doing trailers. That's it. Yeah, we're doing trailers right now. Fine. I had didn't watch this trailer. I didn't either. <laughs> I can't talk about it. Well, then we won't. We won't talk about it. We can't talk about this because I didn't want to watch it because I didn't want anything spoiled. I did. Yeah, same thing. But the first Watchmen trailer was really good, and I'm excited for the show. Whatever the hell the show is. Whatever the hell the show is, because it looks like a sequel to the movie. That, that's but what I, I don't think it's say. connected to the movies. I think it's a. It, it could be a sequel to the book. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find Either out. Way, when, it is it, really when does cool. it come out? It comes out sometime this year. I don't know. Probably November, because everything yeah. is coming out in November. We didn't really do a good job of researching this thing. Nope. I'm just I'm just waiting for it to drop one day, and I'll just be like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. Well, I mean, I don't have HBO, so I'll have to find some kind of way to well, watch it. Well, I love the movie. Some people don't like the movie. The movie's great. Love... People need to shut their mouths. The movie's fine. I, I love the movie. And I, I'll watch anything with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Oh, it's a little. Oh, it's not. It's not exactly beat for beat the comic. Guess what? No fucking comic book movie is. Deal with it. I, I'll watch anything with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Jeffrey Morgan's great at it. When he shoots that Asian lady in the stomach, <laughs> <laughs> so good. And uh, I what's uh what's the blue dude's name? Doctor Manhattan. I love Doctor Manhattan. Hell yeah, boy. He's like Jamie <laughs> Foxx in Amazing Spider-Man Two. Uh, God, why would you say that? Now I'm gonna think about that anytime I see that. <laughs> they look exactly the same. They do not. They don't look they anything the same. Blue. One's got like a uh freaking bullseye on his forehead. Yeah, he's got the Adam symbol yeah. on his head or whatever. But they're both blue, so they're the same. 
Oh, I mean, the Avatar people are blue too. Do they look the same? No, but they look like cats though. Shit, Avatar cats and fucking Watchmen are all in the same universe. Cats cinematic universe. Holy shit. <laughs> we broke it. We it's broke happening. the code. Uh, my last favorite. This was my favorite trailer, so I le- left it for last. The, I, uh, I know top- what you're about to say. The Top Gun trailer. Yeah, boy. I was not expecting that out of that trailer, to be honest. It. I mean, it was a good trailer. I'm not a huge Top Gun fan. I've seen it like once, and it's like kind of a goofy, cheesy movie. But this trailer makes it look like it's going to be like a serious, like, oh, yeah, we're flying jets and shit. And I'm like, that's cool. I, the I cinematography. Hope this looks a I want the cinematography in this trailer was just amazing. Oh, it looks great. That shot where Tom Cruise is in the thing and it looks like he's actually in a jet flying. He probably like is. Hundreds of miles an hour. That's badass, dude. He probably is. That's probably him. I hope so. And then, like, it's. He's seems also like looking really old. He's looking yeah. his age finally. And Ed Harris is looking like a fucking zombie. Is. <laughs> <laughs> is uh do you think they're planning to kill him off in this? It just it seems like it. No, I, I think they're gonna if they are, they're gonna wait until they do Top Gun 3 and then they'll kill him. No, just finish it on this one. They're not gonna that's no. No, finish they're it. not gonna do that. Finish it. Goose is dead. Goose is dead. Just kill Maverick. Okay, well he'll have a son, they'll kill Maverick, and then the third one will be about the son, and then they'll kill that's him. That's fine. I don't Every, I don't have in this universe. I won't. <laughs> I don't want to watch the third one then. And I think Miles Teller's in this. Really? I think I saw him in the trailer for like a split second. He's Goose's he like yelling son. At somebody. He might be. I don't know who he's playing. Does Goose have a son? I don't. Is that know. a thing? I'm not I a big Top Gun fan. I've know. only seen it like twice, and it's been a while since I've seen it. But I love. Me. Hey, more Tom Cruise in my life It's always a good thing. I was like, it was just a fun trailer, and I wasn't expecting that out of that. So. It was. I didn't expect. I was hoping for like a goof fest, and I got it. What looked like a real movie. <laughs> it, so. it looks super fun. I don't know when this comes out. Next year. Next year. Yeah. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I mean, the Body. trailer could be misleading. It could be trash. But who knows? It could be. Yeah, it could be utter garbage. It could be I mean, the mummy. The Suicide Squad did that. So let's not talk about Suicide Squad. <laughs> we did that last week. We, we, we did that, that enough. We don't need to talk about that. Um, is there anything other, any other trailers you want to talk about that you saw? Uh, yeah, Jay and Silent Bob reboot. I didn't watch that trailer, so you Kidney? gotta tell me. You gotta oh tell man, me this it. movie looks like utter nonsense, and I cannot wait. I remember everybody talking about it, and I was like, maybe I should watch this trailer, and then it never. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck are in the trailer, dude. Come on, doing, man. Doing what? Ben Affleck's just like making a noise, and then Matt Damon turns and he's like, "Hey, I'm really old, but I'm still badass." Matt Damon you used to be Batman. Matt Damon was a Batman. No, he's Matt Damon says that to Ben Affleck. He said, you used, used to, be to be Batman. And then Ben Affleck punches him in the face. And he's like, shut up. I don't talk about that anymore. That's a past life. Used to be Daredevil. <laughs> there's like so many, like Kevin Smith, he's a, he's an anomaly. Like I love Kevin Smith so much because he's he's gotten to the level in Hollywood where he can just do like whatever the hell he wants. And he can just invite his friends and make a movie and make millions of dollars off of it. And I'm like, that's, that's where I want to be in w- one day. I was going to say, that's your dream. I just want to make nonsense and have you in it. And you just say like boner jokes and stuff. Boner joke. Come on. Give me, give me like, give me some. Other I'll give colors. you some fart jokes. Okay. Fart jokes are a little bit more dignified. Are they though? Anyway. A little bit. Anyway. I mean, compared to boner jokes. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they're not like gay jokes. I'm okay with that. What's right? What you got against gay jokes? That's like, that's why I don't want to say it. Cause everybody be hating on me. <laughs> Nobody cares, Devin. <laughs> Everybody be Nobody hating on me. Care. I don't have any gay jokes to say. I could say one right now, but I don't have any. So. You're gay. Boom. There's a joke. You call me gay? I'm not saying you. I'm just saying oh. somebody. You say that to oh. somebody. That's a joke. No. That's not a joke. That's just... It's... Cool. You know what else is a joke? <laughs> what? The King's Man, which also had a trailer. Boom. Segway. Boom. That was a terrible that was a segue. segue. Yeah, it was. That was that terrible. Was you need to work I didn't on watch that. Trailer. Not as good as mine. I didn't watch it either. But it has Ray Fiennes in it, and so I'm going to watch it. <laughs> so. There were so many trailers dropped, I couldn't keep up with what I needed. Four, <laughs> there were like two or three in a row. I was like, Jesus Christ. No. I, I don't know why I watched Cats, but I didn't watch King's Oh, Man. did you watch the, uh, speaking of trailers, apparently there was a trailer for uh, the Walking Dead movie that's coming out. Did I did. I saw that. It was dumb. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you're the walking dead guy 
Okay, you want to hear what happens? It was literally 15 seconds. Oh, That's so it's a teaser. It yeah. Is it just like Rick being like, oh, I'm Rick? No, Rick wasn't even in the trailer. Who's in the trailer? Nobody. There's nobody in the trailer. <laughs> so What was the point of this trailer then? All that happens is that it's black. It fades into the city. A helicopter flies into the city. And then the Walking Dead pops up and it plays the Walking Dead thing. That's it. That's all it that That's sounds all. so dumb. That's all it was. And it's coming on the theater, apparently, which I did not expect. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I thought it was a TV movie. Yeah, it, that's where it belongs. But um, I'm excited to see Andrew Lincoln, I, but that's it. I mean, I, I guess he he needs to do other stuff. He wants to be in Star Wars. Remember that? Remember when I'm sure he, he does. I'm sure he wants to get the fuck out of this franchise and be in something else. But no, nah, he signed three movie deal. <sighs> I get Jesus Christ. Three more years of Walking Dead. So this means that this movie is at least going to be an hour and a half if it's going to be in theaters. Well, I mean, even if it was on TV, it was going to be in an hour and a half. They could have made it. They could have made it an hour. I guess it's not a movie though. It's a TV movie. It's not a real movie. It's a TV movie. Yeah, I don't want to talk uh, about it though. It's like I, the movie is like ninety minutes. Yeah, it's like the movie. So watch your mouth. Um, I'm very disappointed in this franchise. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the season ten trailer for The Walking Dead came out too, and it actually doesn't look bad. But I'm skeptical. So I'll let you. I'll I'll let you know. I can't imagine watching 10 seasons of anything. We're on number 10. Jeffrey D. Morgan's in it. He's still alive. Great. So he was in the last like four seasons. Yeah, he was, but I'm Great. still invested. He had one and, cool uh, scene where he like smashed someone's face and he never did that again. Your favorite actor, Norman Reedus, is still in it. Too. Oh, yay. I, cannot, I can't wait to not watch this. I know he's your just favorite actor. Of all time. Oh, he's, he's my favorite. When Death Stranding comes out, oh, man. <laughs> can't wait to play that game. <laughs> um, that was all the trailers I think I saw. Uh, yeah, I mean there was a it chapter two trailer, but I didn't watch it. So I didn't watch that either. I saw the first trailer. It looks dumb. Yeah, just I like, like the first one. one. It looks dumb, just like the first one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a naked old lady in it for some reason. The first one wasn't scary. It was more goofy. I thought <laughs> it was more goofy. The opening was really spooky, and then it was just like, hey, look at these kids say like cuss words oh, and yeah. shit. The opening is the best part where he's in the sewer. He's like, come oh, here. So he What's bites his, his arm off and he just like grabs him. Yeah. Come here, come Georgie. Here, Georgie. I'm going to bite your hand off. I'm going to murder you. I'm going to murder you. Get in this sewer with me. Get in my belly. <laughs> Other than that, though, there was no, nothing really was scary. No. His fucking forehead is too big, too. It, lo- it looks weird. Why are you making fun of his forehead? Have you seen it? I have. I've seen the movie. Yeah, it's so big. It is pretty big. They need to tone that down a little. <laughs> they need to shrink his forehead. I Let might watch it chapter two just because of James McAvoy. The That's cast it. is insane. I hope the second one's scary. You got Professor X. You got the original Old Spice guy. That's not Terry Crews. You got some <laughs> other people. Um, I know the girl. I, I've seen Jessica the girl. Chastain. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the girl. Bunch of stuff. Uh, James McAvoy would be the only reason I'd watch this movie, though. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's going to kill it. He kills it in every role, man. He's really good at, at looking like he's spooky or looking like he's spooked. I mean, after Split, I'm like, he's a damn good actor. I mean, I said that after, like, X-Men First Class. I was like, man, this dude looks like a young Patrick Stewart. This dude's going places. And then Split came out, and I was like, he looks really good bald. He would make a really good Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Uh, I mean, like he can switch personalities just like that on the whim. And only psychopaths can do that. I'm kind of worried. I mean, he's not. Gonna, I mean, if we find out he murdered somebody in the future, it wouldn't be that surprising. It really wouldn't. It'd be, it'd be like the same. I say that about Jesse Eisenberg all the time. I'm like Jesse Eisenberg looks like he would murder somebody like immediately. I think Jesse Eisenberg has murdered somebody. He probably has. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> That's probably why Ben Affleck was like, I don't want to be Batman anymore because this motherfucker is scary. <laughs> he he will murder me on set. <laughs> Hold on, give me one second. I gotta get another light. Because this light oh, okay. is shrinking. Yeah, and you're black, so it's hard to see. You can see that that <laughs> chocolatey that. face. That better. It's more caramel <laughs> than anything. <laughs> yes, that's better. I can see Racist. Right um bananas on the floor. Bananas on the floor. I got a banana. That should be a song. My bananas on the floor? No. 
Um, back on topic. I think we're done with trailers. We are. Okay. You get what's your movie news? What you got? Hit me with uh, something. Edward Furlong returns as John Connor in Terminator Dark Fate. Yeah, I heard about this. Would have been great to find this out in the actual movie. This movie's going to be trash. It it's, probably would be, but it, how awesome would it have been if, if you watched the movie and you're like, oh, hey, it's that guy that nobody knows. I wouldn't have reckoned. I don't know what he looks like as an adult. He kind of looks, he looks the same except, you know, 20 years of drugs and he's like really bloated. I don't, I don't know what he'd look like. So I, I don't know. I don't know if he's gotten in shape or not. He probably has. Like, in, is does he have a major role? Is he just a cameo? I don't know. They just said he's in it. He'll probably be a cameo. I don't think he's going to have that big of a role in it. What if he's secretly like the protagonist? I mean, it'd be a little weird, but <laughs> be fine with that, I guess. I don't really care. Like this movie, like just them announcing that is just saying like this movie is probably not going to be good. So here's something to get your attention. Please like us. Please come see this movie. They're pulling a Star Wars. They're desperate. It's Terminator Two, but everybody's old. Come watch it. <laughs> it's Terminator Two, but everybody's old. That's the that should be on the poster. That's the tagline. I mean, it is. That's exactly what it is. It is. Everybody's old. And they even got the T one thousand, but not the T one thousand. He's like, yeah, he's like a T one thousand, but like a little different. It's hip he and can, modern T one thousand. He can make two of himself. Oh Ooh. man, I, the T one thousand could probably make two of himself. I mean, maybe if he wanted to, if he two cared midgets. <gasps> That'd be hilarious if he made two like midgets. two two midgets of it. Like he cut himself in half and he made two midgets of him. He could probably do that. I mean, he's liquid. Yeah. It'd be amazing if he can turn himself into the floor. He can make two midget versions of himself. True. That I, that's something I want to see. Or That'll be or Terminator. at the end of Terminator Two, when they shot him and he blew into a million pieces, he liquefies into a bunch of small little Terminators. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's terrifying. It'd be like small soldiers all over again. Dude, small soldiers is badass. I remember we watched that one day, and I was we like, did. You we were like, I never seen this, and I was like, You're dumb, Devin. Watch this fucking awesome movie. <laughs> It's it Toy so Story, awesome. but rated R. Hell yeah, boy. Where's Small Soldiers 2? All these movies are getting sequels and shit. Where's Small Soldiers 2? Netflix, get on it. Make Small, small, small Soldiers shit. 2. I want this. Major Chip Hazard reporting for duty, sir. Uh, I have, a, I have I had, Netflix sir. news, actually. What is the Netflix yeah. news? Uh, it lost a massive amount of subscribers, apparently, this year. It's on the down, the decline. But yet Netflix. they have all this money for Witcher. Yeah. Why do they lose all the subscribers? Uh, I don't know. Apparent, apparently, like a bunch of people just unsubscribe. Probably because all their Netflix shows are shit. Not all of them. Most of them, especially like Daredevil's gone, and I don't even know if Strange. Like apparently, I Why heard. Uh, yeah, no. I heard after Stranger Things season three came out, a lot of people unsubscribed. So I'm gonna guess it's because they watched season three and then they didn't have anything else to watch, so didn't want to pay for it. I guess so. I mean, I mean, I'm still paying for it. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, yeah. Hopefully, Witcher will get people back in because it looks really good, and I think Witcher's gonna be the new Game of Thrones. So, I also think. All these new streaming services are not helping Netflix at all. Because no, <laughs> I don't know if you know, but like the rights things for movies and TV shows like that, they can't be on multiple streaming services sometimes. A lot of movies and stuff like that. So if Hulu gets one, Netflix can't have it. And if Disney Plus gets one, Hulu and Netflix can't have it and so on and so forth. Yeah, that's that's where it's going to start getting a little confusing. Because like so, all the that's why all the Marvel movies and shit are leaving Netflix. Yeah, so all these things are going to be spread out over like five different streaming services. It's getting absurd. And everybody's going to be like, oh, I don't want to pay for five, so I'm not going to pay for any. And I'm just yeah. going to start bootlegging it off of the internet. This is insane. Um, we only need one streaming service. You make that one streaming service. And I'll make that one and I'll just have everything. You'd be a content. god. You'd be a god. I don't know how to, how to develop apps. So I, I don't know how to do that. I don't either. Guess we're screwed. Shit. SOL. Um, I also got Eddie Murphy's returning to Netflix on a stand-up Whoa. comedy. 
in he's a doing land, stand-up again? he's doing stand up again on Netflix, and it was a seventy million dollar deal, dude. Eddie Murphy raw and delirious probably have an age of well because he says a lot of homophobic stuff in there, but they're really funny. Eddie Murphy's hilarious, and he's I can't. Really I can't wait to watch this. I hope Have, he's got that red like jumpsuit like he had in, the, in those. <laughs> when was uh when was the last time he did stand up? The nineties? Oh man, probably at least, yeah. I can't believe it was seventy million dollars. Like that's insane. That's Eddie a lot Murphy, of money. Dude. It's a big he's a big star. A, is he? Is he though? Yeah, it's Eddie Murphy, dude. He was in Beverly Hills Cop. He's also in Shrek. He's also in Shrek. He was also Mushu in Mulan, dude. That's it. It's like three movies. He did Haunted yeah. House or whatever. <laughs> the Haunted Mansion. He did do the Haunted, Haunted Mansion. Mansion. Yeah, yeah. That'd be so bad. This, that was like the first movie I think I ever saw him in. Really? Haunted. Yeah. I feel sorry for you. I mean, I was a dumb little kid, so I thought it was amazing. Oh, man. This movie was so cool. I used to do that too. <laughs> man, this is the coolest thing ever. Man, I, I, I miss those days. You could just watch a movie and love it. Even though, like, back then when I saw Iron Man 2, I was like, this movie sucks. And I've retained that since I was like 10. I mean, Iron Man 2 came out in 2010. So yeah, I, I know like you were super young. I was like 12. Yeah. And I thought it sucked ever since because it does. Well, how dare you? Iron Man 2 sucks. I don't think anybody's going to disagree with you on that. No, there's going to be some fuck out there that's like, no, this is actually the best of the whole MCU. All the Iron Man movies are amazing. No. Hashtag no, no justice for Cap. <laughs> No justice for cap. You're still Sorry. hellbent on that. I am. One day. One day you'll get it. One day we'll get the justice he deserves. Uh speaking of Captain America, actually. Ooh. There was some in-game news about this is Marvel Captain news. America. I got other movie news to talk Fine. about. Fine. I was kind of trying to do a, a segue, <laughs> but I know. Go ahead. I've got other movie stuff to talk about. I got other stuff too, but you go ahead. Go ahead. Uh let's see. Elvis Biopic. Uh, cast Austin Butler as I saw this. alongside Tom Hanks. He, I don't know how he is an actor, but he looks dead up like Elvis as, See, he, I don't think, as the I young don't man. Think he looks all that much like Elvis. Did you not? Have you seen the pictures of them side by side? No, but I've seen pictures of him. If you look at pictures side by side at the same age, they look exactly. I mean, maybe he does. I don't know. I might have just been looking at. The only difference is the hair. Well, they can, they, they, yeah, they can. I mean, yeah, this guy, this guy's unknown. I've I've seen him in like a couple like tiny things, but like I don't really know him at all. Um, and I mean, that's cool. What's that's up cool. with all these biopics? Is that like the new rave now? I guess. I mean, that used to be a thing that they used to do, where it's like biopics were like the big thing, and now I guess it's having a resurgence because everything's having a resurgence now. And, I mean, we got Bohemian Rhapsody, we got Rocket yeah. Man. It's not going to be better than Rocket Man. Elvis, and then there's another one or something. I thought. There was one that came out uh, not too long ago about like Judy Garland. Oh yeah, yeah. Which I'm like, I don't think anyone's gonna see that, but they might. Um, I don't know if I'll see this, the Elvis one. I might see it if it's stylish and cool, like Rocket Man was. I'll see it. I mean, Elvis has some good songs, I guess, but he's got some awesome songs, and he was also a whack job. Yeah, it was so fucking weird. Do you th- do you think they'll actually show his death on the mo- in the movie? I don't know. I I think biopics have kind of started to kind of move away from that, where it's not about their entire life, just like big sections of it. I'd be fine with that. Like just make it about like one specific point in Elvis's life, and I'd be totally fine with that. Because if they do his death, then people will be like, "Oh, well, he actually died on the toilet and he's shitting himself." Well, you know, but peanut butter and banana sandwich. Well, that's not <laughs> accurate. Didn't he overdose? That's, that's how he died, right? I don't know. I know he died on the toilet. I don't know how. I think he overdosed on accident, though. He or he got it. abducted by aliens, which is the popular theory he's, I subscribe to. He's still alive with Tupac. He's still alive, and he's just chilling somewhere, because why would you ever want to be rich and famous? He's with Tupac somewhere, and Hitler. Tupac is dead. What about Hitler? Hitler's probably still alive somewhere. <laughs> he's 110. Probably. Somewhere. <laughs> chilling out, painting his dog paintings. Nobody notices because he's an old man. They're like, nah, I can't. I can't be mustache him. Finally, he got a different haircut. He's he's blonde now. <laughs> he's blonde. He's everything he always wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Hold on. I got I got Sharknado stuff. What? They're making more. No, 
the director of Sharknado, is making a new movie called A Zombie Tidal Wave. I'm guessing there's going to be sharks in this. No, they're zombies. Are they zombie sharks? No, they're just Why is zombies. Why called Zombie Tidal Wave? That's so misleading. Because there's zombies in the tidal wave. So they're zombie sharks. They're not sharks. They're just people zombies. They just, they're swimming zombies? Yeah. That's dumb. <laughs> that's that's so dumb. I hate that. <laughs> maybe zombie sharks. Maybe they'll spin it like every person who dies in the ocean. And are, are we going to get five of these fucking movies as well? I really hope not. Because... Like Sharknado. The first Sharknado is fine because they made a bad movie unintentionally. And then the sequels sucked because they leaned into it. They're like, oh, we'll just make bad movies. We'll just make shit films and acknowledge that they're shit. And I'm like, no, that's not what made Sharknado 1 good. But whatever. Maybe this one will do the same thing. Maybe they actually think this is a good idea. No, he's definitely... A a title like Zombie Tidal Wave, he's leaning into it. He knows... Who fucking greenlit this idea? That's what I want to know. Probably the sci-fi network. The same people that greenlit a movie called Sharknado. Like, like, what are they? Like, oh, this would be a good idea. Dude, have you seen... Do you watch the sci-fi network? No. <laughs> There's so much garbage on that fucking channel. I haven't even seen any of the Sharknado movies besides the first one. Uh, I've seen the second one, and it's not very good. I remember I saw the trailer for the the last one, the back in time or whatever. Uh, like the fourth or fifth one? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> And then there's, I don't know which trailer this was in too, but I saw one where he jumped through a shark with a chainsaw. That happens in the first one. Is he it? Ju- he doesn't jump. The shark like falls and he's just standing there with a chainsaw. Okay. I remember that then. God, that's so not, it's nonsense. Non fucking yeah. sense. Well, I mean, the whole fucking premise is nonsense. It's called, yeah, I mean, it's called Sharknado. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it doesn't at the same time. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I guess it makes sense, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I, I take my I take my no, word back do. for that. It doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't. I mean, this may uh, this movie may be funny. I don't know. Is this, I don't, is this a TV thing or is this a theatrical movie? It's a TV. I'm guessing a TV. Thing. I hope it is because I don't fucking. I hope this makes no Have money. Have any Sharknado's been theatrical? No, I think they've all been on TV. I hope the TV thing. That'd be the smart place to put it because no one's gonna go out to see a movie called Zombie Fucking Tidal Wave. <sighs> Somebody might. Mo- movies are getting dumber. I swear. They've been getting dumber progressively for the last like five, six years, Devin. Yeah, I know. I know. Because everybody's run out of ideas. Yeah, they're all. I didn't. What are we gonna do? Oh, let's put sharks in a pool. <laughs> call shark. Call it shark pool. Shark pool. It's like, all right, cool. It's a spinoff of Deadpool. No, it's just a shark in a pool. No, it's just- I, I put a shark in my pool in my backyard and I filmed it for two hours. I mean, they did the same thing with this. Let's put zombies in a wave. <laughs> just, <laughs> the, the zombies aren't even like attacking people. They're just in a wave. Like, they just that, people. I think that's what it is. Like the, I saw the poster. It was literally a zombie in a wave. It's, all it's so dumb. So like, it's like, oh, there's a zombie, but it's in a wave. Let's just run away from the wave. We've talked too much about this. Because it's stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I'll probably see this. Knowing me, I'll probably buy this. I'm I'll not. buy like five versions of this on Blu-ray. I mean, you do have like nine shark movies on one disc, which is never a good idea. It's like 10 bucks. I know. And I've only watched like half of them. I think I bought it for you. I don't even think you bought it. You did. You got it for me because I was like, dude, we got to watch this shit. And we never did. I haven't watched any of them. I want to, though. They all look I've stupid. Watched, I've watched a couple of them. Oh, one of them has fucking Casper Van Dien in it. Yeah. you I think, the hell out of me. I think you told me that. I was like, why is Casper Van Dien doing a shitty shark movie? They're all, oh, dude, they're garbage. They're bad. <laughs> I they're, on a, they're on a disc. They're on a, in a movie collection that's called, was it Mega Sharkathon or whatever? Like, yeah. of course they're bad. I, I picked that up knowing they were going to, I wasn't like, oh, dude, this is art. I was like, no, this is going to be awful. There could be a secret movie in there that's just pure awesomeness. I, I'm hoping. That's what I'm like. I'm, like Deep Blue Sea. What is that noise? What noise? I'm hearing a noise. It's like yeah. a, a beep noise. Oh, it's probably my Facebook. Never mind. I was gonna say I don't want to hear anything. Um, Deep Blue Sea is all right. It's not great. The only thing I remember is fucking Sam Jackson dying. Yeah, the best death in cinematic history. He just pops up out of nowhere and just fucking eats him. Hell yeah! Why didn't uh, that happen on Snakes on a Plane? It's gonna happen in Zombie Tidal Wave. Zombies gonna pop <laughs> out of the water. Get Sam Jackson, and I'll watch this shit. 
I've had it with these motherfucking zombies on my motherfucking beach. And he's surfing on the wave. He's too old to surf. He doesn't know how to surf. He's and black, he's, too. And he's black. Yeah, he doesn't know how to surf. <laughs> That's why he's we, so pissed off. I, I think we've been talking about this for like 10 minutes. So <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> Uh, what what you got? You, what, what's some more news you got? Um, Tarantino affirms Star Trek will be his final film if he makes it. I've heard about this. Which, this sucks. I hate this. Kind of sad. I hate kinda. this so much. I've um I've heard it's gonna be a Pulp Fiction movie with a gangster element in it. What in the space. hell? What the hell does that mean? I don't know. That's what, what he that, said. With Star Trek, that's so weird. This is literally the quote. It says Star Trek will be a pulp will be Pulp Fiction in space with a gangster element. That's the quote. That sounds awful. I don't know what that means. I don't want to see that. It's gonna be like Captain Kirk in space being like, you know, hey, motherfucker, and then like shooting people and saying the n word a lot because that's all Tarantino movies are. I don't why want him he, to make Star Trek. Why is I was gonna say why is he even making Star Trek? I don't know. He likes space stuff. Does he? I don't know. He's never in any of his other movies shown that he cares about Star Trek. I was gonna say he, I don't think he, I've ever seen him do anything with space. So no, before. never. Maybe that's why he wants to do finish it on a space movie. I've never done a space film. Like, but right, bring him back, uh, Patrick Stewart. That's a different thing, though. I know. <laughs> it's a completely different show. They should bring. It looks really boring. They should bring back Patrick Stewart. They should bring back Patrick Stewart. Bring back uh, what's his face, William Shatner, and uh, Chris Hemsworth because he was in like. The Anchor, first just bring movie. everybody. Bring back Chris Pine. Fuck. <laughs> just have a Star Trek averse movie. I'm sure that's what they're gonna do eventually, one day. They'll probably do that at some point. Well, they got to do it quick. I mean, Leonard Nimoy's already dead. They got to do it quick before everybody dies. Um, for I got. Apparently, once upon a, uh, once upon a time in Hollywood got an R rating officially. Hell yeah! I cannot wait to see this. And apparently, it's it's they said it's for all the usual reasons of a Tarantino <laughs> film. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. If the if Tarantino made a movie that was PG thirteen, that would surprise the fuck out of me. That would concern me. Like, what's wrong, man? What what happened? Yeah, like what the hell? What are you slipping? <laughs> you slipping? You slipping? <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm actually. Are you, how excited are you for this movie? I've, I've oh, it looks so talk good. About it a lot. I've never. I haven't seen any of the trailers because I don't want to know fucking anything about this. But I've seen like uh, some of the marketing for it, and I've seen like behind the scenes of it. And it and the story of it is, is like so interesting. It has. It kind of has to do with like the Manson murders and stuff, but it's also kind of about Hollywood actors and shit. And I'm like Tarantino handling those two things in a movie is gonna be so awesome with his style. And the cast is fucking insane. I'm like, this is gonna be awesome. I, I'm I'm kind of wanting to go see this with you. So, what well, comes out this week? Does it come out this week? Fuck. Yeah, July 26th. Shit, I don't know if I'll be home. I may have to just go see it by myself. I mean, and, hey, I'd I'd be down to see it twice. <laughs> uh, I don't then, know why uh, I sounded like Beetlejuice there, but it did. Beetlejuice. I sounded like Beetlejuice when I said that. Oh, did you? I didn't even catch it. We'll go see you twice. Oh yeah, <laughs> I watched Southern. Beetlejuice the other day too, and it's so really good. Is it? I figure to be really dated now. No, it's it's really. I mean, some of the effects are, but it's still Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Don't say his name; he'll show up. I'm in a closet. Michael so. Keaton will pop out in his Batman suit. Be like, I'm Batman. Well, then I'm gonna keep saying it. So I want to see Michael Keaton. Yeah, but he's old now. I want to ask him. He's coming back as the Vulture. He better before he gets too old and dies. <laughs> um, he's in his like seventies. Did you see that uh, Jackass Four could be happening? What? No, I didn't see this. Is this a <laughs> real thing? Yeah, it could. It could be happening with the original cast returning. Did they announce this? Announce this at Comic Con? No, this was this like a Comic Con thing. This was apparently because of the Area Fifty One shit. Oh, of course. What does that have to do with Jackass? They said that they could film themselves doing something with it. I don't know. Dude, they're gonna get shot and die if they do that. I'm surprised they haven't already from the previous three jackass movies. Uh, One of yeah. them had a turtle bite their ass. <laughs> Those movies are so stupid. But I they're I mean they're fun to watch and just like cringe and like look at stuff, but they we don't need four jackass movies. The trilogy was fine. <laughs> it's fine. And then they had a show. 
It's like these guys are like old now. Like but y'all need to quit. More than they've had more than a trilogy though, because don't they have like Jackass two point five or something? Yeah, but I think that's just like a DVD thing. I think that's oh, just like okay. oh, Jackass two with some special features and stuff. I don't think that's like an actual like different thing. It I've might be. I don't know. I don't know which ones I've seen. I've seen just. I've random. seen all three of them, and they're all I've horrifying. Been... They do some crazy shit in there. Oh man, they drink like horse semen. Oh yeah. Oh. Ugh, that's just... <laughs> like just cause. There's no reason. That's they disgusting. just do it. I'm like, y'all are crazy. Who does this just cause? Logan needs to be in. Oh, dude, Vegas. Logan would murder all of those people. <laughs> um, I mean, would you watch this? Would you watch Jackass Four? I mean, if it's if it's on Netflix, sure, I guess. But like, I'm not gonna seek it out at any point. You gotta, you gotta pay five bu- five bucks to see it. No, fuck that. <laughs> I don't want to pay five bucks to see a bunch of old guys beat each other up and fight alligators and have alligators bite their dicks off. I don't need to see that. And turtles suck and on turtles. Their I don't. I don't need to see any of that. You love turtles, though. I love turtles. I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want to see them <laughs> biting people, <laughs> snapping turtles. Um, fuck, fuck snapping turtles. I don't like snapping turtles. I think that's what they had bite their ass. Yeah, it was, but God, that, fuck snapping turtle. That had to hurt. I bet that ripped skin. Yeah, it's a snapping turtle, Devin. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention this when we were talking about it. Movies that I watched this week. They're making a Happy Death Day 3, apparently. It's in development. Oh, shit. i probably watch it. I'll have to watch the first two to catch up. I, I really want to know your opinion on it. Because, like... Are they on I Netflix? No. Well, I don't know. Shit. I don't know if the first one is. The second one just came out. So Because I've heard they're really good. I, I, I might check them out at some point. But They're not bad. They're not bad. You can't go too deep into it. Like I said, though, you can't. Like it's just, oh, I'm going to. If you try to like think about it like, oh, this could be a masterpiece. I'm gonna look at it as a work of art. Like, this is terrible, and I hate it. It's because I do that with most movies. You're probably gonna hate it. If then I might, but I might not. It might. It might be a work of art. Who knows? It's not. It could be. I could definitely tell you it's not. It could be. It could be like Howard the Duck. There's an Asian dude named Ryan, and he has blonde hair. It's not. <laughs> Why is? Why does that matter? Because it just his hair looks weird and it bugs me throughout the entire Leave movie. That Asian boy alone, he looks so weird. It's I'm like every time I'm watching, I'm like that is not your natural hair color. Who gives a shit? Most people in Hollywood, that's not their natural hair color. He is. You can see the black hair underneath of it. It's called style, Devin. Whatever. It looks terrible. You leave that Asian boy alone. <laughs> um, you want you want to go next on news or you want me to go? Sure, Harry Styles cast as prince eric in the little mermaid i did not hear about this this is the first i think i think this is like a a robert pattinson thing where it's like he like they want him and like he's in talks to be it i don't think it's 100 percent confirmed yet um but i know there's like talks of it and i'm fine with it i guess i haven't seen harry styles in anything i haven't seen dunkirk so i don't know if he's like a good actor or not i mean he's okay dunkirk i've seen dunkirk it's fine he'll be okay in little mermaid I mean, everyone's losing their minds, though. Obviously, everyone lost their minds when Halle Halle Bailey was cast. No, it's not even that. It's not even the fact that like he's being cast. It's the fact that like, oh, you got a black mermaid and a white guy. I'm like, oh Oh, shit! Like y'all need to stop. Racist can't mingle. How racist? Yeah, y'all need to quit. It's a fucking mermaid movie aimed at children. Who gives a shit? Just watch it and have fun. Oh yeah, like like watch it and complain about it. Like who gives a shit? Because it's probably going to be bad anyways. It's a Disney remake. It probably will be, but everyone cares as if it matters, Carl. Apparently, The Lion King is just bombing, which I'm good. I'm happy with. Good. Um, watch the original. Are, are, like, are you going to watch The Little Mermaid? No. No. Have you seen the original? Yeah. Oh, okay. We watched the original at, at um, in high school once for like, it was like Homeroom or something when we had those like clubs. And I noticed they say in that movie, Ariel's like 16. How the, fuck, how the fuck old is Prince Eric? He's probably like 20. That's Everyone's okay with that? But she's a fish, so it's okay. But she's still 16. She's a fish. I guess, well, yeah, I guess it's, what well, is it illegal to fuck fish? I think it's illegal to fuck anything that's not human. But in that universe, though. I don't know. I don't know the laws. We need to, I need to figure this out. It's still bestiality. But she's only half fish. The bottom. And, and by the time 
he meets her, she's she's not fish at all. Still. So that's so that's just statutory rape. Why did he just become a merman? Because why would you want that? Because then you could breathe underwater. Why the fuck would you want that? Who did they cast as the crab? I don't think they've cast him yet. The Jamaican crab. How did I see Sebastian? Yeah. I don't think they cast That's him. That's the only one I care about is who they cast him. Get um get like George Clooney. Get the guy from uh Luke Cage season two. Oh Bushmaster. Yeah, get the Bushmaster. Get the Bushmaster. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, if he if they cast that guy, I'm seeing this movie day one. But Bushmaster was so awesome in that show. I don't care. I don't care I would, if he's not Bushmaster in the movie. Just get him and I'll watch it. I, I would That'd totally awesome. love that. That'd be amazing. Hell yeah, dude. You just made me want want to go see a fucking Little Mermaid movie. <laughs> Maybe they'll cast him. Who knows? They should. I don't know send, any other Jamaican actors. I'm going to send a letter in. Be like, Hire the Bushmaster. Hire the Bushmaster. Hell yeah. They're, they're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Bro, what is this? Please is stop this a, sending us letters. Is this a death note? Is this, <laughs> is this a threat? What is this? <laughs> yeah, it's a threat. Um, I have Super Size Me 2's happening. Did you hear about I, that? I saw the headline. I didn't like care about this. Apparently, it's going after fast food chicken. What was the first? Wasn't the first one just fast food in general? No, it was about McDonald's. Just McDonald's. Okay, wow. What's remember, wrong with fast food chicken? It's we delicious. watched this in health class. You remember this? We did. And it's about a guy who eats McDonald's every meal every day for a month. Yeah, it sounds like heaven. And he's like, okay, let's see how much how unhealthy I get. Obviously, you're gonna get unhealthy. <laughs> you're eating fucking McDonald's. Yeah. He's like, I'll yeah. eat the salad. The salad's worse than the big. Salad is so bad. They don't even taste that good. It's the freaking ranch dressing they put on it. It's so yeah, bad. Bro, it sounds like heaven. And then if if he's doing chicken, is he doing like fried chicken? Because that's not good for you either. Uh, probably. He's, is he like doing? I, I don't know if he, is he doing chicken sandwiches or just like chicken chicken? Because maybe if he's, he's doing just, chicken sandwiches, that's an added layer of stuff. Maybe he's just doing chicken in general, like Chick Fil A or Zaxby's or whatever. Whatever's fast food, I guess. Or do I Bosco's know. chicken and waffles. He's gonna spend a fortune. Chicken's expensive. This dude's rich. He's he's got money. If he can if he can afford all this shit, he's got money. He's fine. I remember he was. Wife. I remember he was struggling in the first one. Yeah, he almost died. Yeah, he gained like fifty pounds or something. I was like, dude, that's a that's a way to fucking go out, man. He was like sick all the time near the end. Like, to, who cares? It's fucking McDonald's food. I had Wendy's today. Not did? sponsored. What did yeah, you have yeah. at Wendy's? I had a double Dave's double. What is that? It's a burger. Dave's double burger. What is on it? Everything. Lettuce, what does that tomato, mean? lettuce, tomato, onion, mayo, ketchup. Oh, that sounds so good. It was. It was amazing. That sounds amazing. I had spaghetti today. Have you ever had Wendy's chili? No, I don't think so. It's apparently apparently the fucking best thing ever. I don't. I don't know about that. It's not better than Skyline chili. Skyline chili is amazing. It's the best goddamn thing on the planet. I could eat that every day. It's amazing. <laughs> Got off topic there for me. Welcome back to the food podcast. <laughs> where we just talk about food for 90 minutes. I'm hungry now. What the fuck? <laughs> um, supersize me, man. It, it, it caused us to talk about that. <laughs> goddamn. Uh, I got some uh, Kevin Spacey news. Did you just hear about this? I heard a little bit about this. He got his sex sexual assault charges dropped. Yeah. So. So he has Lex Luthor in the DC universe. Apparently they had falsified uh, evidence and the judge threw it out. So, Oh, shit. So he still could be, but the evidence he could wasn't be. the evidence wasn't taken correctly. So they, they also come out and be like, oh, 20 years ago, he, he touched my butthole or something. When he was 10. When he was 10, I was only like five. We were brothers. We were brothers. <laughs> You were my brother. We were brothers, Anakin. <laughs> um, I don't know why I thought of episode three. Does this mean that House of Cards is coming back? I don't care about House that show. House of Cards has been going. But like, is he coming yeah. back to House of Cards? Probably not. His career's over. Which sucks. Well, they killed I mean, off his character, so he couldn't come back. Did they? Yeah. I don't watch House of Cards. killed off so Frank Underwood. I don't either, but somehow I know everything about it. 
I keep up with it somehow. He could be in like, Baby Driver too. He died in that too. Hey, that's right. He got shot. I forgot. He got shot, and then like they ran, ran him over. over. <laughs> John Ham ran him over like seven times with a fucking cop car. Fucking John Ham. <laughs> that movie's so funny. I love that movie so much. I love the beginning. The beginning is the best part, I think. The be- oh, the heist, the opening heist. I love the the chasing right. for it. Yeah, it's so good. I, I love John Barnthal, even though he's barely in that movie. John Barnthal. Will you retarded some? <laughs> I watch anything with John Barnthal. John Barnthal's man. great. I love him. He's so um, scary though. And then I think this is my last non-Marvel DC news. Uh, the Captain Marvel act- actress was cast in the new 007. Yeah, Lashana Lynch. Yeah, Bond 25 or whatever. Yeah, everyone's losing their minds about this. I don't think this is as big of a deal as everyone made it out to be, including myself. I have like, made a big deal about it, but we don't know what this is uh, because Daniel Craig is coming back in that movie as well as James Bond, so I don't know. Do you think it's a passing of the torch, or do you think... Um, I mean, I've heard people say that like it might be because the story of it is Bond coming out of retirement. So I think what it'll be is she'll be 007 at the start, and then she'll probably die or something, and then he has to come out of retirement and take back the 007 name or some shit. I don't really care because I don't really care that much about James Bond, but I think that's probably what's going to happen. Or it could be a passing of the torch. Who knows? What was your initial reaction? Were you mad about it? I was just like, why the fuck is this happening? I was like, this is like, why? Who gives a shit? You think it was an SJW thing? Is that what you thought? Well, it's to me, it kind of just feels like pandering. It's kind of just like, oh, everyone wanted a black James Bond, but or everyone wanted Idris Elba as James Bond, but they didn't understand why we wanted Idris Elba as James Bond. It's not because he's black. It's because he's Idris fucking Elba. He's the coolest cat on the planet. The coolest person ever, and he's going to be a cool cat man in December. That's why he should be James Bond. That's why he should be Batman. That's why he should be every goddamn character in existence. Hal Jordan. (laughs) <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be a better Hal Jordan than Ryan Reynolds was <laughs> John Stewart <laughs> he'd be a damn good uh, John Stewart fuck yeah dude he I'm needs to just play shit. he needs to just play every DC character hell yeah Booster Gold Superman Supergirl, <laughs> Supergirl. There is Superman a he could do that Superman Batman play Calvin Ellis Green Lantern Martian Manhunter fuck yeah. him. make him everything put him in every movie ever I wouldn't even be mad <laughs> he keeps taking all these weird roles. Like, no, I don't want to be James Bond, but I'll be this weird. Didn't cat he man. come out and say a couple years ago that he wanted to be in more serious movies, and that's why he, he didn't did. want to be in. And that's why he didn't want to be in like Thor anymore. Yeah, because he hated the Marvel movies. But he's taking fucking cats and yeah, Hobbs. No, and Hall. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just are you a fucking? Do you have two personalities? Maybe he's reading this script and like this could be amazing. And then he's oh like, man, cats is gonna be. It's gonna be incredible. I mean, it could be to be honest. I mean, sure, but it's not going to be anything has potential to be incredible, especially a movie about anthropomorphic cats that sing, that sing and have fur coats. Apparently, that's that bugs you so much, doesn't it? Why do they have fur coats? They have fur on them because <laughs> they kill. Why are they so cold? Maybe when they go to war, they skin them alive and then they make coats. What out do you mean when they go to war? Cats go to war. I mean, if it's like our society, I'm sure they have wars. Cat war. That's a far more interesting movie. If that's the lore of cats, I want to see that shit. <laughs> fuck the musical. <laughs> yeah, fuck all the music shit. I don't care. Um, I want to see the cat wars of 2019. Where's the cat wars? Um, do you got any more news you want? You got time? New Halloween films get titles. Oh yeah, the ones we talked about last time. Yeah, Halloween kills and Halloween ends. Why are they making these movies back to back? <laughs> I don't know. Why is one called Halloween Ends when we both know it's not going to end? Maybe it might. They could finally do it. They're not going to. They the world just blows up. At the they, end they pull a Planet of the Apes and they just blow the fuck a whole fucking planet up. Yeah. I mean, it's hey, that'd be cool. But they're not gonna. Did you say the first one's called Kills? Halloween Kills. These are the most ladies, lazy titles I've ever heard. I mean, Halloween Kills kind of sounds badass. Halloween Ends doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Maybe it's over the span of one day. The two movies. And then the Halloween Ends is because the Halloween ended. <laughs> it's called Halloween Ends. Yeah, Halloween Ends on, on fucking November the 1st. Is that, Do you think that's why it's called that? It's because like... The, <laughs> And no, it's like Michael Myers is about to kill somebody, and then it turns midnight. 
And he's just he's like, like oh, I, can't shit. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it no more. My powers don't work now. He just that'd turns be cool. to dust. He turns to dust he like Thanos. Dust. That, hey, that'd be fucking really interesting. That'd be so cool. That's the lore of Halloween. He only comes out on Halloween because I mean he does. He's alive. He does. Every Halloween he's there for some reason. And why is it only Halloween? Where's where's the Hanukkah killer? The Hanukkah killer. That's that's kind of controversial. That's Adam Sandler. <laughs> Shit, that, that's a Here's eight crazy nights. That's fucking Adam Sandler, dude. <laughs> oh man, that was a shot in the. I've people will not understand that. People no, I think not... they will because he's fucking Jewish and everyone. Knows yeah, that. but people have not seen eight crazy nights. No, nobody's seen eight crazy nights. Yeah, exactly. I haven't seen that in so long. I haven't either, but I've seen it. I don't know why. All I remember is like the deers is like shitting and like licking their own shit. <laughs> It's a quality film, dude. What the fuck? It's a quality movie. Okay. Okay. I'll take your great episode. I'll take your word for it because I don't remember anything, but I remember that seeing it. That's all I remember from that movie. It was seared into my brain as a kid. I'm sure it's scarred you for life. Hell yeah. Most of his movies do. Next, Elizabeth Banks and WB bringing back Flintstones as adult comedy. As a show? I think this is a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be an animated film. Elizabeth Banks is in it? I don't know if she's in it, but I think she's like producing it or directing it or something. She's involved with bringing it back. She could be sure. in it as well. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't really care. When was the last time Flintstones even was out? I mean, I think Seth MacFarlane tried to like revive them in like 2011, and it didn't really do very well. They're mostly known now as like serial mascots and they're on like vitamins and stuff. Is this gonna be live action? It's gonna be uh, animated. I think it's animated. It'd be Good. weird if they made another live action Flintstones movie. Yeah, do not do not go down that route. Unless they bring back John Goodman. No, even then don't do bring it. Bring back John Goodman and we I have mean, a deal. John Goodman is great, but don't do it. Bring back John Goodman. Don't do it. Have you, you can seen, do it. Have you seen the movie, the live action movie? I've seen one of them. I know there's two of them. Oh, there's two? Yeah. There's oh. uh the the Flintstones, and then there's Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas or some shit. Oh yeah. Viva Rock One of them. I don't remember which one. I've heard they're both garbage. One of them, Fred Flintstone like tr- was like cheating on his wife with like Halle Berry. Yeah. Like, what is this? Yeah, I think I've, I've I think I've seen somebody review it and I've seen clips of it. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so weird i don't know why these movies exist i don't know why the flintstones haven't been relevant since like the 50s no they haven't been relevant since they did like smoking commercials yeah yeah i mean yeah i don't know we'll see i guess trying to make them relevant again is this gonna be i'm gonna guess if it's a movie it's a tv movie i think they're probably it's fucking warner brothers i think they're gonna try and get it in theaters of course, because WB has nothing else going for them. Yeah, they don't have they don't have any powerhouse franchises right now. Not right now. Shazam. That's all I got. Shazam. I have some Shazam news later. So do I. Maybe it's the same news. Probably. <laughs> uh, next, apparently, there's a Sesame Street movie coming out starring what Anne the, Hathaway. Why you? How do you know all this? Do you I just, saw it. I looked up movie news, and this came up. You just looking up the kids' movie news? Oh, it was just movie news. It's coming out in 2020. Or 2021. What is what is this going to be about? I have no idea. It better be about. It better be about Oscar the Grouch. Who was the Who was that black guy that was in it? Was that Gordon? Was that his name? I have no idea. What happened to Gordon? Make it about Gordon. Gordon was a badass. I haven't seen Sesame Street since I was like five. I haven't either, but I remember Gordon. Bring back. Bring put put Idris Elba in it. (laughs) Fuck. It wouldn't surprise me if he was in this. Have him be Gordon. I'd be totally fine with that. He's Big Bird. Ooh, he'd be a scary Big Bird. <laughs> Big Imagine Bird with his accent and voice and his yeah. physique. You know, Big, Big Bird's going to fuck somebody up. Big Bird's jacked. What happened? <laughs> what happened to Big Bird? He went to prison for eight years. <laughs> God damn. He's got tattoos. He's got tats and everything. He's like, oh, I'm Idris Elba. I'm Black Superman. They should just make the whole movie about Oscar the Grouch because he's the best Sesame Street character. He's going to be in a can the whole time. Make it in his home. I feel like What's... it'd be about Elmo more than anybody. I mean, it is because it's it's going to be. He is the Sesame Street character. Yeah, it's fucking Elmo. Where's Count Dooku? 
Count Dooku. Or the Count Vampire. The Count. <laughs> Count Dooku. It's <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever heard. It's just I the Count. I thought that was his name. Was his no, name that's Count Star Dooku? Wars. No, I thought they were making like a joke about it somehow. You thought, you thought Sesame Street was making fun of Star Wars? Yeah. The Count Dooku. No. His... <laughs> <Why would> they... <laughs> no. It's just the Count. Is he called the Count? That's the Count. We're making it about him. He just counts. Make it about the Cookie Monster. That'd be really annoying. Oh, I'm no Cookie Monster. C is for Cookie and Cookie's no whatever. The... <laughs> Fuck, what is the words? I don't know. C is for Cookie and something. Cookies go in me. Sure. Let's go with that. That yeah. doesn't sound weird at all. It's a kid Next. Because I'm done talking about this. Next. Uh, there's a new Doom movie coming out, which I did not know. A it's movie? coming out this year. Yeah. I think it's we've talked about this before. Doom Annihilation. <laughs> we have talked about this before. We have? Yeah. I don't remember this. This was uh, when we were we talking talked about one of the games. Oh. Oh, yeah. we did. That was the game we were talking about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just found this out. I had no idea this was coming out. Uh, so they're making a movie? Yeah. And I don't know if this is going to be a sequel to the critically acclaimed uh, Doom starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Carl Urban. But I think it's going to be its own thing. I was gonna say, I think I've seen Doom. Oh, dude, it's so bad. It is. We had Doom on like VHS like a long time ago. My brother used to fucking love that movie. The Rock actually looks tiny in that. So, so small long. in that. Because that was, was like so long ago. Right after he did uh, the Mummy Returns, and he was like itty bitty. <laughs> he was like now a little baby boy. Now he's a fucking giant. Now he's a mountain. I if I wanted a Rock cameo in this fucking movie, I don't remember what happens to him at the end of the first Doom. Gonna, but I don't care. He's gonna star in it. Because that's something he would do. I think there's a lady in it. He's gonna, he's gonna be the lady. He's gonna be the rock playing a woman, playing a character. And he's gonna have a wig. He's gonna wear a dress. It's gonna be amazing. Why hasn't that happened? Why hasn't like the Rock done a movie like that? They almost like, did it with two with Tooth Fairy. They put him in a tutu. Guys can't wear tutus. Nope. That's very offensive. It's just not nah, just the Rock can't. Why hasn't he done one of those like dumb like nanny movies? If you see all these fucking wrestlers, they all do these like. Dumb Where's nanny the pacifier movies. too, dude? The pacifier. You want to talk about art? <laughs> pacifier. <Actually, laughs> that movie's fucking art, dude. I actually like that movie. It's reason. really good. It's it's surprisingly good. Like I'm not making fun of it. It's surprisingly a good film. If they make a pacifier too, they should totally get the rock. That Remember that scene where there's like baloney on the roof, and then it falls <laughs> and it lands on his shirt, and he's like, "Oh, it's my favorite shirt," and it's just a stone white. Shirt, I'm like Jesus Christ, like a thousand of them. Yeah, I'm like you're the most boring person on the fucking planet. Vin Diesel, man. Vin Diesel. Who found who founded who found Vin Diesel? Like, where the fuck did they find him? They probably found him in a gym. Just like, oh, Vin Diesel. I am Groot. I am. <laughs> last. This is. I think this is, is this the last news I have. Yes, this is the last of the movie news. Mortal Kombat will be R-rated and feature fatalities. So you got your wish. Dude. Thank fucking God. I'm totally watching this. Ooh. Can't wait. I want to see somebody's spine ripped out from their back. Oh, dude, I hope they get so creative with these fatalities. I hope somebody, they just ram their hand into their spleen and just pop their heart. It's gonna be, this is going to be the perfect movie for like psychopaths. Oh, it's going to be great because that's what Mortal Kombat is, essentially. It, it's going to be so good. I can't wait. If it's just two hours of just fatalities, <laughs> I would be so fine with it. I'd, I'd watch it. I, that's I, I want to know how like how many fatalities they're going to use. If it's going to be like every fight we see a fatality, that's going to be pretty fucking badass. It would be. It's like a last man standing. Oh yeah, dude. It's going to be Scorpion, but well, where? I don't know. Scorpion has died before. Yeah, but you know, he, he's, he's pretty much just a skeleton anyway. Gonna just rip his bones apart. I mean, yeah, you probably could you probably do that. Well, he's like a skeleton, but he's got like a human body. How's he's he staying like a, together? He's got like a skull. He's got he's like Ghost Rider. He's got he, he rips his like fake face off and he's got like a Ghost Rider head. Oh, but I guess the rest of his body is just like a normal body, I guess. That's odd because video games. If if this has some good action, I consider it a success for this movie. Yeah, that's all I care about. I don't, it doesn't need a good story. I just want action. <laughs> it doesn't have to have any story. Just fucking. Well, it has to have some story because it's a narrative. No, it doesn't need to. 
Oh, I would like a little bit of story. Just be like, oh, there's a tournament. You got to win the tournament. And then there's just fights. That's pretty much just Dragon Ball. Yeah. That's just every episode of Dragon Ball. Just do that. <laughs> just make, make a proper live action jungle, jungle Ball Dragon Ball movie. All right. You ready to get into comic book news? Yeah, boy, Comic Con happened. I say we start with DC because I don't have as much on DC as I do Marvel. Yeah, I surprisingly don't have. They didn't drop. They didn't drop a lot on Comic Con. They didn't. It was embarrassing. Um, you want to? I guess you can say your Shazam news. Uh, Black Adam will not be in Shazam two. Most likely Shazam three, if we ever get there. That's what I had too. Uh, why? <laughs> I have no idea because it's too too smart. I guess. Like, are they, were they just so far into Shazam two? They're like, fuck it, we can't make it. Make it. They're, they haven't even started shooting Shazam. Exactly. Two. So why can't you just put them in there? Because they, they want to have that build up. Even though we're probably never going to see Shazam three. That's probably why they said it. They're like, this you know just what? adds fuel to the fire. That this that Black Adam. We're never going to see the Rock as Black Adam. This is never going to happen. He's been cast for like ten years as. He's been cast. Yeah, I think he was cast before Ben Affleck was cast as Batman. Which is like a while ago. It was, uh, and he'd be so awesome as Black Adam. He's perfect. He looks just like him. I know. And then I'd love to see The Rock as a villain. It'd be so good. Yeah, he, he hasn't been a villain in like forever. It'd be Imagine so The Rock just like coming at you with like tasers. He's basically Superman too. So he's like a brown. Yeah, he's like brown Superman. He says that in the, he says that in Shazam three. I'm brown Superman. I'm brown Superman. I'm Hawaiian Superman. I'm Samoan Superman. Whatever. Whatever the fuck he is. Whatever, whatever the fuck he is. What is the rock? Is he I know he's from Hawaii, but like is he I don't know. Hawaii, Hawaiian's not like a race, is he? He's it? from Texas. Texas. Is that a Thor Ragnarok joke? <laughs> Maybe. Go fuck yourself, Devin. Um Batman news. Ooh, what is the Batman news? Not really Batman news, but Batman star Burt Ward will Don't return in Arrowverse. Crosses, Why? Crossover crisis on Infinite Earth. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. I have some crisis news as well, but fuck. Is he going to be Robin again? Yeah, I think so. Dude, why didn't they do this like two years ago before Adam West died? This would have been incredible, dude. This could have been the like, this would have been the best thing I'd ever seen. I can't believe you didn't hear about this yet. No, I didn't hear about this. This sounds awesome. I love that show. And Burt Ward, hell yeah, he's a little he's a little chub, but like put him back in the suit. Have him be Robin again. How are they gonna explain Batman just not being there? He died. Batman Fuck. died. Batman died. I guess. Because I guess if Robin's older, I guess Batman. Maybe dead. he maybe he'll be Batman and he'll Fuck. he'll say that he took the mantle after Batman died. He'd have to he, well, he'd have to lose some weight though. Because I don't want a chubby. I don't I don't want a fat Batman running around. He could be. He could be a fat Batman. I don't want that because he's fat man. Not Batman. He's fat man. Fat man on Batman. That's Kevin Smith. Yeah, that's true. But I'm I was hyped when I read this. I was like, oh okay, okay, that sounds awesome. And I I have some Infinite Crisis news as well. Brandon Routh returning as Kingdom Come Superman in Infinite Crisis. I I heard about this too. He he did the the chest thing on at Comic Con is, or whatever. I feel like such an asshole for not watching these shows. Because they're doing so, like so, some awesome comic book stuff with these shows, and now I'm like way too far. <laughs> like I, I haven't, I've seen the first season of Arrow, and that's it. And there's seven other seasons, and then plus four seasons of Supergirl and like Flash and all stuff. I'm so behind on all this stuff, but this sounds awesome. I'm definitely watching this, whatever the fuck it comes out, because this sounds incredible. Brendan Routh was an okay Superman, just in a bad movie, and it's gonna be cool to see him kind of get a second chance a little bit. Like DC, at least they got their TV shows on point because so far it's been just knocks out of the park. I've heard. Yeah, it'd be cool to get a live action Batman show though. I'm waiting on that. I mean, I may need to start watching them. I'm so far behind, but I I, I, I want to see them because I've heard they're really good, and this shit sounds awesome. And I want to see them, but like I don't want to sit through eight seasons of Arrow. Fuck it, don't don't watch Arrow. Be a knockoff Batman. You have to. It's part of the universe. Nah, you don't have to. It's tied to like I think the the first appearance of the Flash is in Arrow. I think. Yeah, and nah, nah. it's he's basically Batman. 
it'll be fine. Deathstroke is on Arrow. I think you're you're gonna start watching just to see Burt Ward. He's only gonna be in this one thing. So, and I've already seen the Adam West show, so I'm good with that. You just want to see him come back as Robin, and yeah, or Batman. I want to see. I want to see. I hope more people. I hope like Tom Welling comes back or something, or like uh, Michael Rosenbaum as Lex Luthor. I hope they like do they play with this a little bit more and get other actors uh, to be in it as well. Jack Nicholson. Jack, dude. Jack Nicholson comes out of retirement to play the Joker, <laughs> even though even though his Joker died. Spoilers for Batman eighty nine. That'd be incredible. Find oh, a way to bring Heath Ledger back. <laughs> I like how you said spoilers after you said <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like thirty years old. Some people haven't seen it, Wade. I don't care. It's thirty years old. Some people haven't seen. It. I know you haven't seen it. I ruined it for you, but you'll probably forget by the time you see Batman eighty nine. You'll forget that I even said that. Yeah, probably. I, just, I need you need to give me a list of just all the all the Batman shit I need. To watch. I really should because you need to watch. I'll probably do that tonight and send it to you. You do. There's you some really to. good Batman shit you're missing out on. Um, they have released three. I think it was three. Three animated movies DC did. I know Batman they, Hush. They released like a trailer for that, and I'm excited for that because Hush is a really good story. I don't know the other two. Uh. Well, that wasn't in my three, so I guess there's four. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, the the first one coming out later this year is Superman Red Sun. Ooh, dude. That's going to be awesome. Superman Red Sun is a really cool story. I love it. And for some reason, I had thought they already did a movie about this, but they didn't. Because this is the one where he gets, no, instead they, of they landing, yeah, instead of landing in the U.S., he lands in Russia. Isn't that right? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. When he's a baby. And he becomes like a Soviet like dictator type thing. Yeah. That could be that could be pretty dope, to be honest. It could be. I hope the animation. I'm tired of these fucking animated movies all looking the same. I hope this has a little bit of style to it. But I hey, I'll watch this. That sounds awesome. What are the other two? Um, after Superman Red Sun, they have a Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Is what it's Ooh, called. The first Justice League Dark animated movie was really fun. It says. Uh, the plot details are scarce, but based on the title, it's possible that they're basing it off Geoff John's Dark Side War. Earlier this year, it was announced that the future DC anime will come to a few animated shorts based on popular DC characters and stories. So, is Batman going to be in this again? Because he was in the other one. Yes, I think. Is so. this a sequel to that one? I think so. Hell yeah, dude! R-rated Justice League films. Man. <laughs> Um, and then the last one is another Superman movie. It's what is it? Superman Man of Tomorrow. Ooh, that's another good one that they can that they're gonna do. It's apparently an original story though, featuring Oh, it's not the the comic. No, Man they said Tomorrow. they said it's a fully original story featuring a young Superman early in his career. Jesus, can we get away from that, please? We had a whole we had an eleven season show called Smallville. That was basically that. Can we stop doing that? We have Gotham with Batman being like a young guy, and he's like, oh, I'm kind of Batman, but not really because I'm 11. And then now we have Superman. He's running around in high school being like, oh, I was kind of friends with Lex Luthor, but not really because I'm Superman. Now we're getting another goddamn young Superman thing. Stop. Stop this. I'm going to watch <laughs> this, though, because it sounds kind of interesting. They Apparently, I've heard that most of their animated movies are pretty good. There's a, Yeah, there's a lot of uh, good like Justice League movies and... and uh, some of the Batman movies could be a little better, but there's some really good ones. Uh, and the, Super know. the Superman ones are actually really good. Like Superman versus the Elite, I think you would really enjoy because that's a really fun Superman I've seen, film. I've seen a couple of the animated movies, but not a lot. So you need I need to catch movie. up on that. Too. I'll make I'll you a list. I know you need. Just send me a bunch of DC shit. <laughs> I need to watch. watch all this DC stuff in no particular order. Um, out of these four, though, which are you most excited for? Probably Superman Red Sun. I, me too. I don't know why, but I'm really wanting to see that. Because I've always wanted to see a Red Sun live action movie, and I think this will probably be the closest thing we ever get to that. So, I'm excited for that. Uh, what did you say yours was that I didn't catch? What was what was the one you said? Oh, it was Batman Hush. Yeah, what's that about? That's um the the Batman villain Hush, um who basically like he in the story they say that like oh him and uh, Thomas Elliot who is Hush was friends with Bruce Wayne as like a kid and then. Um, when Bruce Wayne's parents died, they kind of drifted apart, and then he comes back and he's like, Oh, your parents stole all my fortune, or whatever. And then he like uses Bruce Wayne's identity to like fuck with shit. He because he, he, he's like a plastic surgeon, so he just like fixes his face to look like Bruce Wayne and he does that like Bruce Wayne shit. Pretty interesting. 
the story Batman Hush is a pretty good pretty good story. They tried they did it a little bit in the Arkham games. They didn't really do much with it, but it'd be I, I can't wait to see the movie. I think it's out already, but I want to oh, watch it. It's probably why I didn't hear about it because <laughs> it's probably, probably. already out. Because I know that there's like a trailer for it. Um, that was all the Comic Con stuff that I saw. Did you see anything that you thought were, was interesting? No, for DC? Not, not for DC. I haven't fucking heard anything about DC at Comic Con. They didn't. They had one panel, and it wasn't very long. They were just like, apparently. "Yo, Brandon Rouse coming back," <laughs> and then that's it. Mic drop. They released a bunch of TV news. Like I think season eight of Arrow is the last season or something. Good. Stuff Fuck like Arrow. They, they released a lot of that stuff, and then they talked about their animated movies, and that was it. They didn't talk anything about live action movies. <laughs> Of course, of course not, because that's it's that's not something they want to focus on anymore. Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing with them. So they don't. Did the Flash lose another goddamn director? Probably. Jesus Who Christ. Knows? Who knows? It was never point. happening. Um, you ready to get into the Marvel stuff? Hell yeah! This is gonna be like half the podcast. I'm it sure will. So much we're, there is. So you haven't seen anything besides Thor four, right? Any confirmed stuff? So no. she said. Well, before we get into it, I got some other Marvel news, but um, there are 10 projects that were announced. Holy shit. That's a whole phase. Four, for phase four. Over the span of just two years. What? Yeah. All so those... we're going to get five movies in the, in the two years? Yeah. That's insane. There were five movies, five TV shows announced. No. Oh, TV shows. 11, 11 properties. 11 wow. properties. I forgot. Six movies. Five TV shows announced. This is wow. This is exciting. All right. But before we get into that, I got some MCU stuff. Um, season seven of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the last season officially. It's ending Good. after this season. I don't care about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't either. I just wanted to tell you, let you know. So okay, if you ever want to watch it, you can. It's over now. I guess it's not part of the MCU, so I don't really care about it. It's not. And um, this is, uh, no, I'll get into it later. I'll get into it later. Spoilers for later. About the Netflix TV shows. Spoilers. Spoilers. Is this going to piss me off? Am I going to have to rant about something? Maybe. Jesus Christ. Um, I was going to tell you this earlier. Early drafts of Avengers Endgame, they had Captain America dying from Thanos chopping his head off at the final battle. That's not what I would want, but that's better than what we got. <laughs> you think so? Yes. Why, why would they even cut his head off? No, fuck you. It was just early drafts. It probably would have never made it past that, but that's dumb. It was just, it was just Cap, an early Cap idea. Died, though. Hashtag no justice for Cap. Um, this uh, oh, I t- sent this to you yesterday. In game, officially becomes the number one grossing movie of all time. This is a fucking landslide. Is I didn't <laughs> even think it was still in theaters. It is. It comes out on uh digital in like a week, so it's just it just barely made it. Just barely made it. It's uh, it's over a million. I think it's a million over right now. So now Avatar Two is going to come out. And it's going to be Avengers Endgame. <laughs> we're going to have how, to do this all over again. How funny would it be if James Cameron re-released Avatar like tomorrow? <laughs> it's I mean, like I would, okay, I would be surprised. We'll take the top spot again. So. And I mean, it it really doesn't matter because they're both Disney properties. So Disney's yeah. getting all the money regardless. So it doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah, but I mean, uh, hey, that's that's fun. That's good for Marvel people. I I I didn't know it. I didn't think it would actually happen, but it did. So. I didn't I didn't think it was it would happen even happen either. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> um, this was not confirmed. It's rumored, but we're, we might be getting a War Machine TV show on Disney Plus. Why? I don't know. It's, what is he gonna do? He's gonna be like, oh, I can't walk. Boo. Apparently in development. That's what I fucking. Heard. I'm Don Cheadle. I look like an old raisin man. But that wasn't confirmed, so I don't know. Why hasn't Don Cheadle been in like a California raisins movie? Because he looks like a, a raisin. <laughs> what would they do? Just California raisins. Just a live action California raisins. You should just, just be Don in Ch- the commercials for California raisins. Do that. That make that make perfect. I'd be like, oh hey, look, there's Don Cheadle being Don Cheadle. Um. And then the last couple of, I only have three more things. Um, in the first, the initial draft for Spider-Man Far From Home, Mysterio was going to be a scroll. I heard it. I heard this. That's yeah. weird. I'm glad I don't know how happen. I feel about that. I'm glad that didn't happen. 
I mean, it makes sense. If you're trying to do like a realistic, I guess, realistic, quote unquote, version of Mysterio, yeah, I guess you could do that. But I like what they did with it because it was pretty much just Mysterio. The VFX, like special effects aspect of it is Mysterio. That's who he is. Yeah, I don't know why he'd be a scroll though. Like what what in the story, what would that even do? What would that what would you gain from him being a scroll? I don't know. I mean it's just he's a scroll man. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that didn't explain anything. I don't I don't know. <laughs> what, what would you get out of this story? Oh, he's a scroll. Whatever. He's a scroll. Okay. Okay. Sure. I mean, when they killed him, it wouldn't be the real Mysterio, I guess. If he was a scroll, because he was a scroll. Yeah. I mean, they could have did that and, and pulled like a Mandarin thing and been like, oh, the real Mysterio is out there somewhere. Boo. Spoilers like, right. for that. That comes up later. What? Too. What? 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 We'll get into it later. We'll get into yeah, it later. We got Mandarin news. <laughs> um, and then... Mandarin oranges. They said that Craven the Hunter, if he's in Spider-Man 3, may be Wakandan. I don't know how I feel about this. Is he black? I don't know. Because there's no white Wakandans. Maybe he's not in the movie. Maybe he's like like an outcast. Like he was a white. I mean, maybe. That, I'd be fine with that, I guess. I mean, isn't he like Russian or some shit in the comics or whatever? He's somewhere. I don't know. It's he's fine. I mean, for the MCU, if they want to build out the MCU a little bit more, it makes sense for him to be Wakandan. I mean, why not? Put him in Black Panther 2. I guess. Because they killed half of his fucking villains anyway in the first movie. I guess throw him in Black Panther 2. Uh, they they can also use the Prowler, Donald Glover. Where Apparently you at? it's rumored that he's going to be in Black Panther too. Where you at, Donald? That could be. That could actually be a lot of fun. It could be. I I totally love Donald Glover and everything. So I love Donald Glover too. And then this is my last news, and it's probably the most exciting. That's not confirmed, but possible. Wolverine could possibly be be Taron Egerton from Kingsman. I like this. I like this a lot. This that is uh Marvel writer Mark Miller who has predicted like the last like five castings correctly has said that he will be the next Wolverine. I think this is a really good choice. Um I personally would have went with Scott Eastwood because I always thought Clint Eastwood would make a cool Wolverine and he kind of just looks exactly like Clint Eastwood. But Taron Edgerton, I could see it. He's he can get jacked and he's like itty bitty, he's not all that big. And I could see him in the dumb Wolverine. Cowl he's got thing. the he's got the macho. I think he could. He's do got it. the face for it. I think he could do it. He came out and said that he doesn't think he's scruffy enough for it, but yeah, grow a beard. Who gives a shit? He'd be alright. I think he'd, he'd do good. Put a fake beard on him. Put some fake mutton chops on him, and it'll be fine. Who gives a fuck? Pull a reverse Justice League CG on exactly. CG some facial hair on him. <laughs> if because if Tom Hardy's not going to be if Tom Hardy's going to be a dumb idiot and take Venom. Over being Wolverine, then I'm fine with this. I guess this is a, this. I don't hate this choice. This is a good choice. All right, you ready to get into Phase Four announcements? Yeah, boy. All right. First up, I'm going to go in order of when they're going to be released. So that's how I'm going to do this. Okay. First one, we already knew Black Widow, May 2020. Did they conf- Did they like say anything else about the story, like where it takes place and shit? No, but they released the. Oh, they did say it takes place after Civil War, and in, okay. before Infinity War. Oh, it's a part of the Infinity Saga then. I guess so. so I was correct. I guess so. So the Infinity Saga is not over with yet. They also have said though that you will learn what happens in Budapest in this. I don't. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's not important. And then uh, the cast. I'm, I'm going to butcher some of these names because I don't know how to pronounce some of them. But Scarlett Johansson, David Harbour, Florence Pug. I don't know if that O.T. Fagbellany and Rachel Weisz. Rachel Wise. Wise. Directed by Kate Shortland. It's a weird cast. But yeah, that's the cast. I mean, hey, I, I have no idea what this movie is going to be, but all right. And then Taskmaster is the villain. It's been confirmed. Cool. Why does he look like a Power Ranger? Do they explain that? He has a shield too, which is weird. Why does he look like a Power Ranger? Does he look like a Power Ranger? In the set photos, he looked like a purple Power Ranger, yeah. I don't know. He has a shield, which I think I think that he, always has a shield. I think he copied Captain America. Yeah, he's always got a shield. He's got a shield and a sword. And arrows. Yeah, that's the that's the first move. We knew about that one though. We knew that was happening. Yeah. Next up, November sixth, twenty twenty, next year. The Eternals confirmed. 
happening November 6th. No Keanu Reeves. No he Keanu was not, so not a part have, of the cast. We still have another 15 years to put Keanu Reeves in a Marvel movie. Do um, you want to hear the cast? That they announced the full cast? Yes. Sure. Angelina Jolie confirmed. Right. Richard Madden. Richard Madden. Okay. Kumail Nanjiani. Kumail Nanjiani. Yeah. Lauren Ridloff. I don't know who that is. Brian Try Henry. I, th- I thought you were going to say Brian Cranston. I got it. No. <laughs> Samuel Hayek. Samuel Hayek. Uh, Leah McHugh and Don Lee. That's a weird cast, but all right. Directed by Chloe Zhao. I don't know who that is. It's a female director, which I thought was kind of odd for the Eternals. But... A woman. Yeah. Um, the most surprising one I think is Angelina Jolie. I didn't know they were actually going to get her for this movie. Well, I, th- I thought she was always confirmed. I I, I know she was rumored. I never know if she got confirmed or not. She's officially confirmed last is night. Is Thanos in this movie though? Because I know they want, said originally that like a young Thanos might show up in it. Or they something. haven't. The only thing they released last night about this was the cast. They didn't release any story news or anything about that. I want to know something about these goddamn movies. Like, to I mean, give us a little bit. Don't give us like the whole plot, but just give us like a tiny bit. If Thanos shows up, that'd be cool. That'd I mean, really I don't know cool. if they don't even have to use Josh Brolin because they could make his voice. No, I want like a young, like yeah. tiny little skinny Thanos. So they could cast somebody else and we'd never know. Josh you know? Brolin will be like, oh, I'm young skinny Thanos. Um, Next up, fall 2020. So this is, we're still in 2020. We're still in next year. Uh, This is a TV show. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That's the official title. Falcon and Winter Soldier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The, the, that's too many does. I don't who like does? That. Call it Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, Anthony a... Mackie confirmed that he was fitted for his Captain America suit, so he will be Captain America. I cannot this. wait to see his Captain America suit because his Captain America suit in the comics is so fucking cool. I want to see it. And then the cast, they only released three cast members for this show. Can you guess the three? Falcon. Cap. Falcon and Cap are the same people. Uh, Falcon, Bucky, and Black Widow. Zemo. Ooh, Zemo's coming back. Daniel Brühl. Is that how you pronounce him? Yeah. He's, he's on the yeah. cast. He was at Comic-Con, and he said he was going to be in it. My name is Zemo. They better Hell fucking yeah, put him in his purple suit. Put it. Put the purple sock on his face. Put it Put it on his face. Hell yeah. That sounds awesome. This this out of all the Disney Plus shows, this one sounds the coolest. I can't. It does. I can't wait. It's gonna be a buddy, buddy cop, cop show comedy with with Falcon and Bucky. That sounds awesome. And Falcon's gonna be Cap. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's man. So good. so good. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, they said that all these Disney Plus shows are six to ten episodes. So good. that's how long they are. Good. They don't need to be fucking thirteen. I I hope I hope most of them are six because I can deal with that. Six like hour long episodes are fine. All right, next up, we got a movie. We kind of knew about this movie, but the title is very interesting. February 12th, 2021. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Ooh, that implies the Mandarin. The Mandarin. Mandarin. We're going to see the real Mandarin that they've been fucking teasing since Iron Man 3. And it's I'm excited for this. This movie is... Super- I'm I'm excited for it too, mostly because I don't know a whole lot about Shang Chi. I know a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, I cannot. I'm gonna butcher all these names for this cast, probably because but... they're foreign. Um, Simu Liu is Shang Chi. Oh, that's I wanted like Donnie Yen. That sucks. He's but all right, Shang Chi. I cannot pronounce this name. Aka Wafini, Wafinia, Aquafina, Aquafina. She's in that movie. That's dumb. Yeah. Tony Lung Lang Lang. It's L-E-U-N-G Lang. Those are the three. And then it's directed by Destin Daniel Cretton. I don't know any of these people. I don't know either. Apparently, everybody loves Simu as Shang-Chi. Everybody was raving about it. So maybe he's probably pretty good, I guess. I don't know, though. I'll look up who he is afterwards and all. Because I've never heard of, I've never heard that name in my life. I saw a picture of him. He's pretty ripped. Is he, like, sure. young? Or is he, like, middle-aged? Yeah, he's, he's younger. He's, like, 20. Young, so. He's probably, like, 25. I want to say. Okay. Does he does he look like Tom Holland though, where he looks like a baby, or does he look like a man? Uh, let me hold on. I'll just I'll look up his. 
He's trending on Google. Trending. That's him. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. I like the suit. I haven't been that suit in the movie. There, there he is shirtless if you wanted to see him. Shirtless. Ooh, that's that's definitely what I needed to see. <laughs> um he was apparently rumored for it a couple months ago, but he didn't know until like a week ago that he was cast for it. So I mean that makes sense. That's usually what Marvel does, they leave you hanging. All right, another Disney Plus show. Spring 2021. I hate the title for this. I'm just letting you know. Um, WandaVision. That's what it's called. I love that title. I think that title is awesome. WandaVision. It, it, it reminds me of like a 50s show. WandaVision. Uh, the cast. Elizabeth what, the Ol- what would you call it, Devin? Scarlet Witch and the Vision. No, that's dumb. <laughs> um, Elizabeth Olsen, Paul Bentley, and Tayona Paris. That was, that's the cast. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Did they, they say what the what the fuck this show is? Why is Vision alive? Uh, it's after Endgame. That's all they've said. It takes place after Endgame. Why is Vision alive? We'll find out. Is he like a ghost man? Is he like also, ghost Vision? That they ex- they said that they will explain how Wanda gets her name, the Scarlet Witch, in the show. Fine. So they're finally gonna call her Scarlet Witch after like six years. Well, now that they officially have the rights back to it, I'm sure they can. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Good. Call her Scarlet Witch. Uh, how to call her Wanda Maximoff. It's a dumb name. <laughs> Wanda Maximoff. Spring 2021. So around the same time, we're getting the Loki show, Disney Plus. Okay. Spring 2021. The only thing that's confirmed is Tom Hiddleston is in it. So Falcon and Winter Soldier and WandaVision are coming out before Loki? WandaVision comes out the same time. They both come out oh, in yeah. spring 2021. So Falcon, is, Falcon and Winter Soldier is coming out before Loki? Yeah. Falcon Winter Show comes out fall of next year, so it's fall, fall of 2020. Yeah. Why haven't we seen any like set photos for you? We've seen set photos for like Loki. I don't know. It's strange. It is. Um, it is confirmed. Tom Hiddleston is in it. He's starring in it. Good. And I remember, this... <laughs> remember when they when they said like, "Oh, we're making a Loki show." Tom Hiddleston's not in it, and everyone lost their fucking minds. Yeah. Dumb decision. I'm glad he's he is in it because that's good. Um. And this does follow, you were right. This does follow the Loki that escaped in Endgame. This Boom, is that again. Loki. Hashtag Wade was right. I and uh, Kevin Feige said, this isn't the same Loki you saw in Infinity War. This is evil Loki from Avengers 1. So this is. So he's going to be fun Loki. Yeah, he's fun Loki. And it's him mo- hopping around the multiverse. Apparently. Fuck yeah, dude. So Which, again, I was correct. He's, he's dimension hopping or whatever. Yeah. And this ties into the next film, which I am super hyped for may 7th 2021 doctor strange into the multiverse of madness is what it's called Ooh, that's a dope title yes into the multiverse of madness fuck yeah dude that sounds badass and who's the villain we don't know no idea i hope it's Dormammu. but the cast there's a second person on this cast that you wouldn't expect i don't well you may not expect jack black benedict cumberbatch and Elizabeth Olsen. So Scarlet Witch is in this movie. Ooh, that makes Which a lot of sense, though. Yeah, she's that like is a, a, a finger magic lady as well. And that is a cool duo to have. We'll see how that works. It's I'm going to guess. Movie. I'm going to guess because it didn't have a release date for Loki. I'm going to guess this movie comes out before that because it just says spring for Loki. Because I'm mm-hmm. going to guess they're going to explain the multiverse in this movie and then have the Loki show out. I mean, I kind of want them to start to kind of lean in the direction that like Scarlet Witch starts to maybe like turn bad. Maybe maybe she's going to be the villain in Doctor Strange too. Who the hell knows? Maybe that's maybe. the show. That could maybe be. the show is her like going fucking crazy after Vision's dead or whatever and fucking losing her mind. And then in Doctor Strange too, she's the villain. That would be boom right there. I just That's made a, I just made a script right now. Pay me, Marvel. I'd watch the shit out of that. I love this title, and I love the uh, the title. What it looks like, it looks pretty dope. Multiverse of Madness. That sounds like a like a like a fifties comic. That sounds awesome. That totally fits with Doctor Strange. I'm so excited. I love the first Doctor Strange. You know, you know that. And Scott Derrickson has said that this is the first horror movie in the MCU. That's what he Good. said. Good. I I kind of wanted them to go a little bit more. Because they, I don't think they leaned into the weirdness and like the spookiness in the first Doctor Strange, and I hope this one they just like fuck. Two he said hours this is a he said this is a full on horror movie. That's what Good. he said. 
I want that. I'm excited. That awesome. Make it R-rated and spooky. This is something we didn't know, but I'm excited for it. Summer 2021, they're getting a one if show on Disney Plus. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I knew it was rumored, but I didn't think it was gonna happen. No, they, the they yeah, they announced it a while ago. Yeah. Uh the only official per this is an animated show, it's not a live yeah, action show. But it's about the MCU. And uh Jeffrey Wright will voice the watcher in it. That's the only thing that they've confirmed. Okay. Are is there are we gonna see like if Captain America's in it or something? Is it gonna be like Chris Evans voicing it or is it gonna be like other people? They have confirmed some of the actors that will be voicing it. They have Samuel L. Jackson, Sebastian Stan, Elizabeth Olsen. I think they have Tom Holland. They have a bunch of the MCU actors voicing in it. Okay, good. And they have some new people too that I, I don't remember because I didn't write them down. Bring I it, how awesome would it be if they did a what if with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine? That'd be pretty dope. That'd be really cool. That'd be really dope. Bring him in for a day and just have him scream into a microphone. I think that is the most one of the most exciting shows on here. To that, be honest, that could be dope because they could do a lot of stuff. It could be like Twilight Zone, but with Marvel characters. Like that sounds awesome. And then uh, fall of twenty twenty one. So we're still in twenty twenty one. These this is a lot. Of, there's a lot of things coming out in twenty twenty one. Content. Disney Plus will release a Hawkeye show officially with Why? Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner will. Why? Start. Who gives a shit? Apparently, this will also introduce Kate Bishop. Of course it will. Who gives a shit? Next. <laughs> you don't want to talk about that at all? No, what is is? Oh, shoot arrows. Cool. I'm going to be shooting arrows for six episodes. Cool. It could be that great. Fun. I'm gonna, if, I hope he has this dumb haircut that he had in Endgame. Maybe. Maybe he could get, actually get his purple suit. That'd be fun. <laughs> and then uh, this is this isn't this is the second to last movie. This is the one you already knew about. Is this the, the four? Uh, November fifth, twenty twenty one. Thor. Did you hear Thor. the title? No. Is, Thor. Does it have a title? Yeah. Thor: Love and Thunder. Uh, that's kind of dumb, but all right. The interesting thing, though, is the cast. <laughs> Who's in the cast? Uh, Chris Hemsworth, obviously. Did Tessa they, Thompson. They... Tessa Thompson and Natalie Portman. Fuck. So she's so she's not done with Marvel. She's coming back. She's not. What's even crazier is Taika Waititi was at Comic-Con and he said Natalie Portman will become Thor in this movie. Oh, uh, shit. So we're going to get the Jane Foster Thor arc. Uh, yeah. I hope they don't call her Thor because she technically isn't Thor. She's Jane Thor Foster girl. with the power of Thor. She's not even Thor, Thor girl. Thor girl is someone completely different. Um, but I mean, this is fun, I guess. She. It, I'm glad she's coming back into the universe because I hate, I hate how in the MCU whenever like actresses don't want to be in the movie they're just like oh they broke up off screen like whatever i'm glad she's coming back <laughs> the uh she came out on comic-con with thor's hammer and everybody went fucking nuts that must have been fucking really cool yeah so i'm excited for that i don't know how taika is gonna do this but i can tell you how he's gonna do it he's gonna make a, a fucking goof fest here's the here's what the title looks like it looks fucking crazy that looks fun that looks kind of kind of looks like a mobile game but it looks fun. it does it looks like an 80s mobile game yeah I just I I hope Taika Waititi just like I'm fine with humor, but just don't make it a fucking like spoof. Don't make it a, a goofy fucking fart fest. Like tone down the the humor in it a little bit. Jesus Christ, because this then, sounds really cool. It I oh, it does. And Thor four, I'm excited. I I'm gonna watch it. I, hope, gonna... I hope in the title it it has the four as like the H or whatever. I hope it's called like the four or something. And but and um. Kevin Feige did tease Beta Ray Bill in this movie. So. Fuck. It took, ten, it took 11 years to fucking see Beta Ray Bill. I hope, he, I hope he looks as terrifying as he does in the comics. I mean, it'd be more than 11 years because it comes out in 2021. So. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I, who's playing Beta Ray Bill? Is he cast? They haven't cast him. I want to play Beta Ray Bill. You I want to? I want to show up at Marvel headquarters wearing a horse mask and just be like, yo, cast you, me. You can just do the mocap. Somebody else can do the voice. That's fine. I want to be in the credit as just Beta Ray Bill someday <laughs> in my lifetime. That's that's my goal in life. And then the last movie on here. God, this came out of fucking nowhere. and I'm so hyped. Can you it? do you even have a guess for what it might be? Uh, is it like I'm trying to think. Is it Moon Knight? No. If it, if, <laughs> fucking Moon you're going to be hyped about it, though. Is it I'm trying to think who else? What other Marvel characters? 
that don't have a movie. Could it be like a Vance Astro movie? No. Let me just tell you. Blade. They're doing a but, Blade movie? Okay. Yes. They did cast him already. Who is it? Cottonmouth from Luke Cage. Wait, what? Hold up. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Hold up. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. No. Yeah. <laughs> not okay. He's Blade in a movie. That's No, that's not okay at all because that now... That means the Netflix shows aren't in the MCU. Exactly. That's what I was. This is bullshit. They need to quit doing this because they said when those shows came out that they were, and now they're not. Stop doing this. All right. I know, I know you want to keep these movies going forever, but the bigger your universe gets, the more it's going to be a fucking clusterfuck. All right. Luke Cage wasn't a good show, but Cottonmouth was a cool villain. Daredevil is in the MCU as far as I'm concerned. I don't give a fuck. I'm probably going to see this Blade movie, and I like Mahershala Ali, and he's a good choice for Blade, but fuck everything about this. I'm so... I rant. I was so... It was so out of left field for me. I was not expecting it whatsoever. I don't think anyone would. It's That's like, that's like bringing back uh, Charlie Cox and being like, oh, he's playing like Superman now or something. <laughs> Like, all right, strange. I think he's a great choice for Blade, though, to be honest. He is. Is he going to be British, though? Because Blade is British in the comics. I don't know. Apparently, he he asked Marvel to do it. Marvel didn't ask him. That's and Marvel said yes. That's fucking awesome. Because I know Wesley Snipes talked to Marvel about doing something Blade-wise yeah. a while ago. And I was like, please don't bring Wesley Snipes back as Blade because he's a fucking lunatic. He might be in this as like a cameo or something. I mean, that could be fun. Have him be like a cab driver or something but marshall ali is as blade is that's fucking really cool marshall is, is one of the films i'm most excited for uh, to be honest he went from spider-man or he went from luke cage to spider-man to blade that's fucking really cool i mean if you think about it the netflix shows were already ruined in civil war anyways with what's her face <laughs> Yeah, but I kind of wrote that off as the same character, just like fucking around, like trying to get all these fucking superheroes. Maybe this is the same character. Ever. It can't be. He's dead. For they one. pulled a uh, Coulson and they revived him. They, but how the fuck would he become a vampire? Or maybe he was a clone. No, that's done. These show the fuck, man. This pisses me off. I knew it would because knew... that means we're not going to get a Daredevil season four because now they don't care about it because it's not in the MCU. Which means if we do see Daredevil, he's going to be recast. God damn it. I know you're excited, but you're also livid at the same time. I am. Because I like Mahershala Ali and I like Blade, and I would love to see a, a non like retarded Blade movie with Wesley Snipes because he's. Th I, I love Blade. Blade 1 is fucking awesome, but those movies are kind of like stupid and dumb. Um, and Wesley Snipes just said a bunch of random stuff in it. Some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill. What does that mean, Wesley? <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean? It doesn't tell make us. any sense in the context of the movie. Tell us what it means. <laughs> he literally, have you seen Blade? Uh, I've seen the first one. He literally like cuts a vampire in half and then just says that. And I'm like, all right, none of that makes any sense. But I cool. mean, if he's, he could be a cameo. I'd be fine with it. I'm, just, I cool. thought it would be really weird if they actually brought him back as Blade. Cause that would mean, would that mean that the initial ones were canon? Yeah. And I, I wouldn't want that as well because Blade Trinity is a garbage fire. Yeah. And Deadpool's in that. And yeah. Yeah. And Deadpool's in that. Um, so yeah, I'm glad we're getting Blade, but it's just like fuck, man. They they might as well they might as well said, "Yo, we're making a Blade movie." Also, fuck you to all the Daredevil fans. Go fuck <laughs> yourselves, and just drop the mic and left. They could bring Charlie Cox back <laughs> as did. Daredevil in the movies. No, because that would mean that the Defenders exist. No, and no. it's the same cast, which means that Luke Cage exists. Just bring Car Charlie Cox back, but the shows aren't canon. That's dumb because no, or, that's dumb. Or they could pull the Netflix shows are just in a multiverse and then they just come into our universe. I guess, I guess you could fucking do that, but that's a cop out fucking way of doing it. Stupid. <laughs> Fuck the multiverse. This is retarded. Um, that is a TBA. It does. They don't know when it's going to be released, but it will be a part of phase four. Okay. They also, is this going to be R rated? Uh, they didn't say, they didn't say if any of these were going to be R rated. Yeah, it, it better be. If it's fucking PG 13, I'm going to, Shoot somebody. I hope it's R rated. That that would be the movie to start R rated if you were going to be R rated. Why the fuck would you make a PG 13? I want I know, to just, hear him say no fuck a lot. And chopping people's heads off and stuff. Chopping off vampire bodies. It'd be it'd be smart 
for them to have Morbius in it. I know they can't do that because of fucking Sony, but that would be a cool <laughs> thing. That do. Maybe Tom Holland's going to be in Blade. Why would Tom Holland be in Blade? Because Spider-Man. Why would Spider-Man and Blade ever interact? Well, actually, no, that's he was in Spider-Man Friend or Foe. He's in that game. So I guess that's not super far-fetched. And Morbius. And Morbius, yeah. So there's that. That could happen. Little, little baby boy Tom Holland with fucking giant black man that is Blade. Um, I got another. I got a couple more TBAs. Like they're to be announced. So, but they are confirmed. They're in the works. Uh, Guardians three. We already knew this. Guardians three. I've heard that Thor is not going to be in Guardians three. He's not. Which is really weird and stupid. Why did they make this decision? I don't know. I mean, I guess it is smart because. Like I, I think Guardians works as a standalone franchise within the MCU, but at the same time, you fucking set something up in Endgame. It was, it was the Russos. They were like, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Fucking stop doing this because this is dumb. <laughs> is is Guardians three gonna be pre or post Endgame? I think it's post Endgame, but again, it's a TBA, so we didn't hear much about it. James Gunn said, "I'm sorry to all the fans, but I'm doing Suicide Squad first, and then I'm doing Guardians three. That's what we said. I, I mean, that made sense. We knew that." Yeah, so that's a TBA. Uh, the next TBA, Captain Marvel two in the works. It's happening. Ew. It's happening. We don't, it. we don't need it. Happening. Um, another TBA, Black Panther two in the works. I kind of figured that. Is it just called Black Panther two? Well, none of these have official titles because okay, they're in, it's called they're, like Black Panther into the jungle or some shit. Because they're all in development, so they're Jumanji. not. Jumanji. The next one. This one is intriguing. What is it? Fantastic Four in the world. Oh, wow. They actually, they actually, Kevin Feige came out and said, we're working on Fantastic Four. It's in development right now. No, no casting news or anything yet. Just no cast. Working on, working on Fantastic Four. And then the last one, also intriguing X Men. No, it's called New, Mutants. New Mutants. It's called Mutants. That's what they're calling it. Oh, fucking course, it's called Mutants because they're trying to, oh, X Men. Oh, it's sexist. Go fuck yourselves. I think they're just oh, setting up. Now. I think they're setting up mutants, and then the next movie will be X Men. Like they're not uh, the X Men yet. Okay, it's gonna be mutants, and then mutants two, and mutants three. Fuck all this. This is dumb. <laughs> this is retarded. Let's call them X Men. You're excited. Don't lie. No, who's gonna be in this movie? Is it gonna be like the fucking? Is it like Nightcrawler and like the little Frog Boy? I don't know. I like think Storm. this is. This is what I think. I think they only released half of Phase Four. I think this is half of Phase 4. You think Phase 4 is going to be longer than this? I think Guardians 3, Captain Marvel 2, Black Panther 2, Fantastic Four, and Mutants are on the second half. And along with Blade, I think the 10 movies that they officially uh, like announced with titles and cast, though, that's this is the first half. Because this is only two years. The, uh, I'm also surprised there's no Ant-Man 3. Yeah, there's not. There's no Ant-Man 3. What the fuck's Paul Rudd going to be doing? He's going to be in Ghostbusters. Maybe. I mean, the Marvel, usually when they announce stuff, they do have some stuff that changes around and moves around, and they, they either add stuff or take stuff away or whatever. So, I mean, and I, I think I'm it sure was smart. 4 will be the same. I think it was smart only releasing two years out so that stuff like they can add stuff or remove stuff later on. Cause yeah, like, so, so next year, it's just Black Widow and Eternals? Black Widow's Eternals and the Falcon Winter Soldier show. Okay. And then everything else is 2021. So yeah. Shang-Chi, Loki, Doctor Strange, What If, Hawkeye, and Thor are all... Oh, and WandaVision. They're all... And the Eternals. Shit. Oh no. Eternals is next year. Never mind. So yeah. WandaVision, Shang-Chi, Loki, Doctor Strange 2, What If, Hawkeye, and Thor... Are all 2021. That's a lot of shit coming out in 2021. That's quite a bit. I kind of wish they would slow down a little bit, but whatever. I'm excited for these shows. Uh, the shows seem fun, except for the Hawkeye show. I fuck everything about that. It doesn't need to exist. You're gonna watch it though. I'm not gonna watch it. You'll you watch it. You tell me you're, everyone, you're not gonna. You're not paying for Disney Plus, so you're just gonna watch it for free. I'm not gonna watch it because I'll probably be watching Daredevil again for the eighth time. <laughs> Um, out of all these things, which is the most exciting? That's I, I've been confirmed. really looking forward to the what if thing ever since it was announced because I think that is a really cool thing because there's a lot of really cool what if comics, and it's I you know I love the Twilight Zone format of just like every episode is kind of different, and they could they could do some really like cool stuff with 
uh, Marvel characters and they show that they won't do in the MCU. Like they could do like a cool old man Logan. That's very like comic book old man Logan. Um, and that would be fucking sick. And they could do some like cool Captain America stuff. We could have Hulk fight um, Wolverine and we could have Wolverine voiced by Hugh Jackman and Hulk by, you know, whoever. And that could be, you know, the the thing we always wanted to see. Or we could have Tobey Maguire show up as Spider-Man and then have, you know, the uh, Vulture by Michael Keaton or whatever. Like you could just get fucking weird with this show. And that's fucking so cool. And I want that. What about uh, the movies, live action movies? Which one are you most excited for? Uh, um, five or six, I guess, because Blade's in there. I would say Blade and Shang Chi because Shang Chi, Shang Chi is going to be really interesting to see how they do that. Um, because I would, I would totally be down for just like a cool, like dope martial arts movie similar to like the Raid or like the Ip, Ip Man films or something. Um, I don't know if they're going to honestly like lean that heavy into the the martial arts aspect of it i mean obviously they have to because shang chi is a fucking martial arts character but um it's gonna be cool to see the mandarin and how they handle the mandarin um yeah is he gonna be like the main villain is that what's gonna happen or... probably yeah where the fuck has he been for the last eight years Why i bet you they're out? i bet you they're gonna show a bunch of stuff like oh he did this and this in the background and he didn't know Ooh, he he fucking created the time machine that the avengers used in endgame <laughs> Um, it is magic. Out of all of the movies, I would say I'm most excited for Blade and Doctor Strange 2, to be honest. Doctor Strange 2 could be something special. And it could be... be hopefully, it's better than the first one. Because the first one, I'm not super crazy about. But I, I love like the it. first one. I enjoy it. I think the last act is probably the best part. I love the first one. And then of the shows, I'm most excited for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That, that could be really fun. That could be a fun show. I think all of these so far... Have been ca cast pretty good, to be honest. I yeah. There's nothing in the any of these casts. I'm like, why would you do that? The Eternals has a crazy cast. I'm just gonna admit. Yeah, the Eternals has a weird cast, and it could be really fun because it's are all crazy people. It could be really fun, or it could be fucking shit because it, be. it has such a weird, out of place. Because you have you have Kumail Nanjiani who's a comedian, and then you have Angelina Jolie who's not, and she's like a serious actor lady. And then you have you know all these weird people. It's like how how are they going to mesh together? How are they going to flow? What the fuck is this movie? I don't know I don't fucking know. anything about the Eternals. Like what the I don't fuck either. Is I just know that they're gods. That's all I know. Is this going to be like Marvel's new gods? Is that what the Eternals are? Could be. I don't know. It's strange. And this could take place at any time too because they're gods and they don't die. That is true. Who's going to be the the gay one? Was there like a gay one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We need the gay one. It's Keanu. They didn't release it, but it's actually him. It's he's Keanu. in the movie, and he just he just shows up. And he's like, "Hey, I'm gay." <laughs> uh, I'm I'm also intrigued by Fantastic Four. To be honest, yeah, it'd be really cool. I, I'm really interested to see what Marvel Studios is going to do with the Fantastic Four. I want like super like goofy Fantastic Four costumes. I want the the big bright white four on the chest with the blue spandex and everything. I want them to just get fucking crazy with this movie because nobody fucking cares about fantastic four and you could just go balls to the wall with it make it like the incredibles <laughs> just make the incredibles but with make, just remake the incredibles just live action um and then some notable movies that weren't announced spider-man 3 was not in there yeah that's a little that's a little weird because i would think after that cliffhanger that was in far from home you would want to make the third one as quick as possible and they they didn't say anything about Tom Holland showing up in any of these except for maybe the what if that was it. So yeah, that's, that's a little strange. I've also heard some stuff that like he might not be Spider-Man anymore and that Sony might be like wanting him back or whatever. And I'm like, ah, no, that's bullshit. And then, um, like you said, Ant-Man three, not in there. Yeah, that's, that's very strange. I mean, we don't need a third Ant-Man. Of all the movies that you know, we need sequels to. It's not. We don't need a third Ant-Man. Do you think if they don't do a third Ant-Man, Paul Rudd will just show up in other people's movies? Or? I think so. I mean, that's fine. And then no Avengers movies were announced. Good. Which I'm Good. glad because if I think if they would have announced an Avengers movie, that people would have been like, "You're doing another one." Already. Avengers Secret War. Blah, blah blah. I think they're gonna no. I think they're gonna build it up over time, and by the time we see the next one, it'll be like the new Avengers or. The, the West Coast Avengers or something. It'll be something, and then that'll be the new franchise that they have for the next decade. Uh, you got anything else you want to talk about on the MCU's West side? Um, I have MCU news. 
All right, hit me with it. This is what uh, you got. Frank Grillo, who plays Crossbones, has five movies left on his contract. Yeah, I've heard that. I, I don't. I could see him showing up in Falcon and Winter Soldier. He died. He, he got back. He's dead. The multiverse. They see this is this is the, the, why I didn't want them to fucking do that in Endgame because I'm like this is like if you introduce something like that, that needs to be the end because then you can just do dumb shit like this and I don't want dumb shit like this. Fuck, Crossbones is dead. You wasted him in Civil War. Fucking just leave him dead. I, I mean, I'm fine if he came back. I wouldn't be mad at it. He's just going to be like, oh, I'm back. Uh, I'm Crossbones. Bleh. I'm going to punch you with my gauntlet things. Whatever those things do. Captain America kicked my ass. Captain America, I blew myself up. Because Captain, kill- Captain America had a Martha moment and I blew myself up. Bucky. Why'd you say that name? <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, what it's whatever. If he comes yeah. back and they actually use him correctly, go for it. I'd, I mean, cool. Yeah, I'd, Crossbones. Crossbones is actually kind of a okay villain in the comics, and I, it would be kind of cool to see him again. But it's just like he's fucking dead. Some of these people you, need to fucking stay dead. Do you think in Falcon and Winter Soldier, Zemo will make like the what is that group called? The evil whatever Thunderbolts? No. There's a group called like the Evil Trio or something that he makes. Doom? No, but he does that, and they're like all villains from like that the Purple like Man, Thunderbolts. The Purple. That's not the Thunderbolts. What the fuck are you talking about? I got. I'll look it up. The dynamic keep, duo. Keep it. Uh, keep keep talking. I'll I'll look it up. I uh, I hope he's got his purple sock mask. I hope he so doesn't, too. Then somebody fucked up. Somebody royally fucked up because he didn't have it in Civil War. Now. His masters mind. of evil. That's what he had. Ah, the masters of evil. Maybe they could be setting that up. They have the purple man in that. And where's the, uh... well, he's d- dead, I guess. But <laughs> at the same time, these fucking shows aren't canon anymore. So they I just know bring you, him back. You're pissed about that. This fucking are. David Tennant was awesome as the purple man, but let's not use him. Let's not take the thing that everyone loved and actually fucking use it in a movie. Let's not take the DC approach, or let's take the DC approach. Not make any of the goddamn shows canon, even though everyone loves the shows. Jesus Christ, this is so dumb. What's the point of coming out with all these shows if they're not fucking canon? Is uh, Cloak and Dagger not canon? Because they reference Luke Cage in that. I don't know. So, I don't like, know. Are any of these fucking shows canon I don't that know they have if... said are canon in the past? This is I stupid. Say, I don't know if any of these shows are canon, because like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. apparently isn't the Netflix shows are gone. I don't know about Cloak and Dagger and the Runaways and stuff like that. I don't know. I, don't know. I get all of this. I don't know. If, you're, if, if something's in the MCU, fucking leave it in the MCU. Don't say it's in the MCU and then be like, oh, well, we changed our minds. No, go fuck yourself, Kevin Feige. Go fuck yourself in your stupid baseball caps that you always wear. He apparently gave out the gave the crowd baseball hats. Of course, of course he did, because it's <laughs> a meme now. And he looks so happy about it when he did. He was smiling. He's making millions of dollars. He's like, hey, go fuck yourself. As he's handing them out. Uh, what other MCU news you got? Uh, no more MCU news, but and this isn't really news, but I want to talk about it. Uh, Dark Phoenix, uh, the Target Blu-ray exclusive, uh, actually looks pretty badass, like the case and everything. And it comes with a cool poster, and I'm probably going to get it simply because it looks cool as fuck. That, and you're trying to finish your X-Men collection. And yeah, I'm one movie away. I need Dark Phoenix. I don't have all of them. Oh, that's it? You actually got all of them? Yeah. Oh, snap. I also have fucking Once Upon a Deadpool, which was a mistake, but I have it. Throw it away. No, I have it. I paid... It was fucking $15. I'm not going to throw it away. Throw it away. No. I watch it on Christmas. Sell it somewhere. I watch it on Christmas next to Jingle All the Way. An elf. And Die Hard. And Die Hard is not a fucking Christmas movie. Yes, it is. So is Iron Man 3, and so is Batman Returns. I can see Iron Man 3. Die Hard is not. You can see Iron Man 3, but not Die Hard. They barely even fucking reference it's Christmas in fucking Iron Man 3. Fuck you. There's <laughs> one line that's like, oh, it's Christmas Eve, and then they fucking never do anything with it. Nope, it's not. Die Hard is, at least is like, oh man, I gotta go blow up a building on Christmas? Oh my god. He didn't Fuck say you. that. But Fuck you, it's not. It's Batman not. Returns is a Christmas movie as well. You can say that about any movie. Oh, it is a Christmas no, movie. No, because movie. those movies are set on Christmas, Devin. Which makes them Christmas movies. Not Christmas. If movies. a movie was set on Halloween, are Halloween movies not Halloween films? Are they summer movies? Yes. You can, say, Halloween. you can say anything about any movie. Whatever. You can, yeah, if you want to sound like a jackass. But yeah, jackass. Christmas movies. 
That's all the news I have. That's everything I have. Well, I think that that's it. I... That wraps up the sixth. Is this the sixth episode? I think so. Sixth, seventh episode of the Real Duo podcast, a.k.a. the Keanu cast, a.k.a. the most mediocre podcast on the internet, a.k.a. the only mediocre podcast on the internet, a.k.a. the Real Foodie podcast. We're getting too many AKAs here. I don't care. It's just going to keep growing every episode. What's your uh, What's your fun fact of the day? Fun fact of the day. Uh, if if you put actors' faces on giant CGI cats, it's going to look fucking horrifying. Yeah, I could have told you that. Why are they CGI? Because <laughs> everybody's lazy and they don't want to do makeup. But that's just as hard as putting makeup on actors. Because everybody's lazy. Everything sucks. Movies suck. Movies suck. You're pissed about the Netflix show. I, I hate I hate movies. You're pissed about everything. I hate everything. I'm a, I'm a grump. Uh, next week, are we doing a ranking? Is that what we're doing? And or a review of a movie? Uh, probably, yeah. I might go see Once Upon a Hollywood. Well, that's not what it's called. That's what I'm calling it. Once Upon a Hollywood. That's what I'm calling it. Yeah, I mean, if because I don't know, since Comic Con already happened, I think next week the news will probably be pretty light, so we could probably rank some. We could probably rank Star Wars or something. We'll rank something. We'll rank some. We'll see how it goes. We'll rank rock movies. Oh shit! The like, Rock Cinematic Universe. Like, like rocks or the Rock? No, the Rock. Oh shit! I thought we were gonna rank <laughs> movies about rocks. Rock movies. How many movies about rocks are there? I mean, there's like the the asteroid movies. Those are about rocks. Those are about asteroids. Like Armageddon. That's a rock. No, those are space rocks. That's different. That's it's a subcategory. A rock. It's That's a, a rock. Subcategory within rocks, within the rock family. And then there's uh, like volcano movies. That's about a big rock. That's those aren't rocks. It's the volcanoes rocks. not rocks. They're like ground holes. They're they're like whale blowholes, but on Earth, and they spew lava. I've never heard anybody make that synonym, but I like it. That's what they are. They're they're earth. <laughs> I never thought about it like that, but it is. Yeah, that's what it's it is. Very true. Earth's butthole. I I didn't say butthole. I said blowhole. It could be both. No, buttholes aren't inverted. Some people's are. Yeah, and they probably died because <laughs> you can't live like that. Uh, all right, we need to end this before We're still we recording. Is- yeah, before this gets in, this is going in. This is staying in. Uh, that's fine with me. Um, you need to end this before it gets even weirder. I Talking need, about earth buttholes. I need like an end note to end on. Hot dogs are not sandwiches. If you put hot dogs in in between two pieces of bread and eat it like a sandwich, it is then a sandwich, Devin. You put hot dogs in between two pieces of bread, whether or not you it's a sandwich it or sideways. not. You turn it sideways. If you eat it like a normal sandwich, it then becomes a sandwich. No. No, I will, I will fight you on this. What if I eat a hot dog without bread? Then it's just a hot dog. You're just eating a hot dog, Devin. What if I eat two pieces of bread with nothing in between? Is you that a sandwich? Two pieces of bread. Is that a sandwich? No, though? A sandwich. You need stuff in between the bread. If you're just eating bread, then that's just bread, Devin. You went to college. You should know this. If I put a piece of lettuce in between the bread, is that a sandwich? That's a lettuce sandwich. Yeah. What the fuck? It's not a hot dog sandwich. It's not a thing. I didn't say it's a hot dog sandwich. I said it's a sandwich. Is is cereal a soup? Yeah. You're a maniac. It's it's cold soup. You're a maniac. It's the same. You, it's the same fundamentals as making soup. Why isn't it soup? <laughs> You're a maniac. Breakfast it's, soup. It's cereal. <laughs> it's breakfast soup. Is a tomato a fruit? Yes. It grows the same way as other fruits do, Devin. We're just learning so much about you today, Wade. That I'm right about everything. Banana is a fruit. Strawberry is Nobody's not. Nobody's arguing fruit. that bananas. Strawberries <laughs> aren't fruit. They are. No, they're not. Do you seriously think strawberries aren't fruit? Fruits have seeds on the inside. Where are the seeds for a strawberry? They're on the outside, Devin. Exactly. So it's not a fruit. It's not a vegetable either, because vegetables don't have seeds on the it's outside. It's a either. strawberry. It's its own thing. <laughs> it's an abomination. It's a str- Corn is a grain. It is. It's I learned that from the Disney Channel. It's not a vegetable. 
It's not a vegetable. I try telling people, and they're like, wait, you're stupid. And I'm like, no, look it up. I it's a grain. It's like shot. wheat. 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 Wheat thins. Oh, we just quoted Family Guy. Cool whip. All right, this podcast is over. I'm done. I'm done talking about food. About to go uh, eat. A hot dog is a sandwich. Fuck you. <laughs>